And look what I got. Hi, Deborah. We're all going to sit on the couch. But they haven't gotten here yet. Hi, Buffy. I have to get Jackie some treats. Just a minute. Hey, buddy. I'll get you some treats. Yum. I want treats. Did you watch Brian Dunning's show? Oh, we just got back from, we just got in about an hour ago. What's good? About an hour. Oh. You know, he, those guys are pretty brave. You know, I just, I, I'm not, I, I'm not particularly conscious about how much, um, how much hassle they endure criticism from um people that want to believe <laughs> i was just reading off some of my some of the tweets that i've been getting i haven't been on twitter i haven't been on twitter in ages like almost a week and i and i was sitting down on the couch and i hit the twitter button and all of a sudden i go oh look i'm on twitter all of a sudden so i was reading Mount Lodge to deborah and they're they're unreal some of this stuff i put up on, i put up on twitter some screenshots, some of the hate mail I've been getting. Yes. And uh, one of them included the email of the person who sent me the hate mail. Yes. And they're like, we tried emailing that and it came back as a wrong email or something. And, she, and they said, I made up the email. Probably because other people have tried emailing it, including myself. I emailed the guy. Uh -huh. And in response, so he probably deleted his email because, you know. Well, it's just it it's it's easy enough to fake a sending email address also. Oh, but I did email it's him. Trivi it's down. trivially trivially easy to put a fake email address in the from field. That's true. Well, it, it didn't bounce when I did it before. I think he got rid of it because ah. he didn't like it. And now they're accusing me of making up the email. And then others are accusing me that it wasn't hateful enough. And then another one the, was the, the post on Luz Elizondo's Wikipedia page about a guy who said he was going to, he said it was to the rule of skeptics, how dare you change his information. I I look forward to your utter destruction. So people were like, I, you, yeah, that's, and they, they're like, well, that wasn't to her personally. So and I'm like, oh, I, the other girl of skeptics, I wonder who that might be that they're talking about. And then other people were saying, well, it's not there. It, it's not on uh, Wikipedia. It's been deleted. See more, they're trying to get rid of the yeah, the evidence and I and what it was is whenever people put like vandalism stuff like that that's hateful, yes, Wikipedia admins come in and delete it. I didn't okay. touch it, and you can look at the entry. It says been something's been deleted. Hey, I'm here. Oh, look. hi, Rob. I'm here. I haven't had Naomi hey. in the background for a long time. Either. She's not Susan. She's not Susan. Take a look. She's at the wrong place. No. <laughs> <laughs> My house in California. Mm -hmm. We just got here, Rob. Just got here. We, we got a weird we message. Got, we got to her a, house. I have a weird behind. message. Susan Garbick is currently the host. Reclaiming host may disrupt breakout rooms, oh. polls, and shared screens. Da, 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 da. Whatever, whatever. Stay you, you're running it. I'm just going to be a group. But no, Deborah just, got here and then we went to the grocery store. I hit store. the stay, stay as co host button, whatever that did. I don't know. There's Leonard. Hi, Leonard. Hello, Leonard. Hi, Leonard. Hey, Rob. Carl. You just had Wendy? Greetings. Oh, yeah, my oh, hair is no. Okay. All right. I'm sorry. As, as co host, I cannot give anybody any uh, co host abilities. Only the host can give people a co host. So if you want me to do that, you have to make me the host again. Oh, but I'm recording. It's okay. I can. I can. I have little else to do today. Susan, you, you must submit a letter to the cabinet stating you are not able to fulfill your role as host. <laughs> Wait, so are are you gonna be the host? Are you gonna do that? I'm already recording. Oh okay. If I turn it over then that might disrupt the recording. Uh, the, too much this, important uh, things happen right not now. that this yeah this part matters but um yeah okay it does it does matter Rob this is what people tune in for every week just to hear us bitch at each other. <laughs> Bo both of the you people who so. watch the videos would be very disappointed if there was a problem. I've got news for you. At least 12 people are looking at it. 
Yeah, so actually today I, I discovered something when I was watching a video because I hovered my my mouse. Usually I watch videos on my phone, so you don't get this on the phone. But on my PC, you get a bar that shows you how other viewers have rewatched segments of a video. I don't know if you're all aware of that now. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yep. None think... of the CFI videos have it. Like, what what the hell is that? So I, I spent like a half hour Googling how do you turn that feature on? Where is it controlled? And I can find nothing, nothing about it. Every video is about what it's about and how a viewer uses it to figure out like, but nobody that I could find says what you have to do to make that occur on your own videos. It's weird. It's well, secret. because CFI is, is run by, um, um, Careful, a you're cabal, recording. A cabal. No, I, I'm losing my train of thought because I'm really tired. We just drove six hours to get here. Wow. Um, well, that's, yeah, but the, we had a nice drive. Oh, it's nice, Leonard. But no, what was I trying yeah. to say? It's a CF, you're looking at videos that CFI hosts so, because you aren't the host of CFI. No, no, no. This is what I'm saying. I could look at any video on the internet and I see that there, except for CFIs. I've never seen that video. Oh, I'm telling you. Lion. You're a liar. Nope. Liar. You share my screen. Liar, share you uh, person. The only thing I could find was somebody saying, as if it was a fact, and I think he was just speculating, that because he was checking out a whole bunch of videos that were on his feed. Oh, see, this one has it, and this one doesn't, and this one has it. He was speculating that it's the number of views. You need a certain number of views or a certain number of time for them to collect the analytics. But then I went back and I looked at I think like 4,000 or 5,000 views on some video that I did a year ago, and there's nothing there. Hmm. And I, I clicked a whole bunch of the CFI ones, Skeptical Why I Present. There's none of them there. But I can randomly click on YouTube, and most of them have it. So there's something so, we. So to to further speculate, maybe it requires not only a minimum number of views, but a minimum number of people who don't just minimum people who actually have behavior other than just watching it beginning to end. That mm -hmm. if a certain or, number of people aren't rewatching the same segment over and over again. So, so I don't I don't think I, that's it because well, maybe it, what happen be is it draws a gray it draws a gray graph above the line, and a lot of them are fairly smooth. Some of them have peaks, some of them don't. Hmm. So that's a good guess, but that does, uh, my guess is that's not it. So I, I don't know. So that's your assignment, Carl. You could see if you can figure this out. <laughs> Carl's assignment. Hello, Vincent. Let's see. Okay, I'm grabbing my paper and a pencil so I can write down all these amazing things. Your audio, your audio is bad there. What's going on? Me? Yeah. I'm in a Wi-Fi. I have a Wi-Fi setting. So I'm no, I don't think it's that. It sounds like it's a bad microphone or you're not close. Yeah, enough. it is. It, there is no microphone. It's just you're talking to the computer. I don't have a There's microphone. got to be some microphone. <laughs> well, no, none of the videos on my YouTube, my tiny little YouTube channel have anything like that either. You mean your personal ones? Yeah. Yeah. Granted. The, the, the largest viewing numbers I have on any one of them is 433 views. But... Well, that's a lot. <laughs> You're talking about a YouTube channel you set up? <clears throat> Hi, Jim. And that, that's, a, that's a video of George Harab. Yeah, so, so, let, so let me show you one that has it. Oh, I've uh, seen it. I know exactly what you're talking about. Well, yeah. some people may not know. Susan doesn't I'm tired of this conversation. <laughs> Okay, there you are. See, you see, see what the graph looks like on the yeah. bottom. Uh huh. Okay. okay. That that shows what people were paying. and they were. I, I watched his uh, skeptical choir presents today, and they and Kenny was actually looking at this and saying, "Oh, I can see most people rewatch the high bar for evidence, and um, uh, you know, would they be interested in us?" And and so it does show you the the Jimmy Carter section. So that that's kind of interesting information you can get. Hmm. Wait, spectacular this is what is rewatched like what? they backed it up a little bit is that what that means yeah they backed it up or they paused they watch or it over and over again back. And, and as carl was saying before if if nobody does that and they just watch it from beginning to end it's just going to be a horizontal line you know but actually i think i have seen that i don't pay attention to it it's too much information so, yeah. i want to hear about brian denning's presentation today you showed the movie and what else? No, no, no. It was just an interview with, with Kenny Biddle interviewed him. That's all. And, yeah, and, and he interviewed uh, Brian Dunning. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And mo mostly he, he took the tactic of it was just it was interesting. 
going to that the same YouTube I was just on and uh, <laughs> having Brian comment on on the viewer comments. Oh, you get fault. <laughs> and how and how was the whole thing? What? I liked oh. it. Did I, I thought I well um I thought it was based on an experience that I had um yesterday that I wanted to talk I, I started to talk to Susan about it and I realized it doesn't make sense unless I can try to describe. There's a there's some atheists in Los Angeles that are not necessarily skeptics. And when I, I <laughs> I thought that everyone was like me, you know, kind of both. Nobody's and, like you, Wendy. Thankfully, nobody. we love you. And what happened was yeah. one day, Heather and Emery and I went over to CFI because there was going to be an interesting speaker who I don't remember now who the speaker was that we were going to go see. But they, they had uh, the whole crowd from Atheist United was having their picnic at lunchtime there. And I could overhear what they were talking about. And I'm going, why are they talking about astrology? Well, you know, they're talking about each other's signs and stuff like that, <laughs> really? and, which was it, like uh, this big revelation. And that's when I found out that there's there, that there are, that not everybody has like those, that intertwine skepticism and atheism that, that I, I it, in my experience, the vast majority of atheists are not skeptics. Okay, see, that was a big surprise to me. Yeah, so, so I went to a, an atheist, I went to several American atheist conferences. Mm -hmm. And one of them in particular in Salt Lake City, um, after the, the lectures, you know, as you do at a conference, you all go down to the bar to, you know, to chat the end of the day <clears throat> and i commented that the bar was not set up well for lots of individual conversations like the del mar lodge lounge at, at the south point was and the person i was talking to said oh you mean the feng shui is wrong the what feng shui, feng shui. <laughs> oh, the feng shui. Oh, feng shui. Oh. Feng shui. And, and i said no and you probably shouldn't you know bring stuff like that up, you know, if, if you're talking about anything to do with science. And the guy looked at me and went, why not? It makes perfect sense. <laughs> and I way, said, you realize that most Christians say the same thing about God. And the person next to me just broke out laughing because, you know, <laughs> immediately got the, you know, the connection. And, and the guy was talking to me, was like, huh? What do you mean? Well, well, maybe he means feng shui means something different. No, he meant that feng shui was was real and made sense and, and was a, a a legitimate way to look at yeah, the well, at yeah, reality. Because, because the reason is that they believe it's true and demonstrable and it works, you know, and there's some evidence because people mm -hmm. say it works and that's a good enough for them. Well, so. the feng shui in this house is messed up because to get into the bathroom, you have to open the door to the and it covers up yeah i'm not sure that's i'm not sure that's what feng shui like is talking about <laughs> well it could and my i think it's kind of vague i actually looked into it, it it's kind of like astrology is actually different versions of it and they don't even mm -hmm. realize there's different versions of it so well you know. there's there's three really big distinctions in astrology though the most obvious ones are the uh the chinese astrology is based on years and the um indian and babylonian astrology is based on months uh just happens to be 12 of them in both cases yes i kind of regret that i'm not born in the uh, in the period when the sun is in ophiuchus well you couldn't have been because those <laughs> periods were defined before <laughs> Ophiuchus was on the uh, ecliptic, but that's okay. Um, but why are there why are there twelve um, years in the Chinese zodiac? Because they wanted to match the number of months. Nope. Mm -hmm. 
Why? Something, something to do with a dynasty, an emperor's dynasty? Nope. Hmm. It's all the animal For thing a here. reason that doesn't make any sense? Nope. <laughs> hmm. I no no. Because it takes up? twelve years, roughly, for Jupiter to go around the sky. Ah, I like Jupiter. Huh? Okay, okay. It's just it's just a little under twelve. Yeah, but uh, yeah, okay. It's eleven point. It's eleven point right. seven. But that means Zeus is uh, real. So. It's uh, it, 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 it's kind of like the half Chinese paid attention to the position of Jupiter in the sky. Yeah, it's kind of right. like uh, half the reason that uh, uh, there are seven days in the week. Yeah. Right. Okay, so here's what happened. Huh? One of these, there's a person that was a really good volunteer at CFI West for a long time. And I used to kind of dream up their assignments so that it, the responsibility for scheduling the um volunteers didn't fall on Jim Underdown or on Alice Pine so that you know and so in addition to assisting Alice and doing whatever else I could do that, that I was sort of supervising the or scheduling not supervising but scheduling the other volunteers and so this one couple they were really good about um um coming on Sunday for the Sunday lectures every other week and making coffee and picking up donuts. And um donuts and are important. To be, yeah, it's important. And so what happened was that this um that the um this woman just took a shine to me. She just loved me. And it turned out by coincidence that she knew somebody that I had grown up with. And we used to stand around and, and drink coffee and eat donuts and gossip about this other person. And um, and so when I stopped hanging around at CFI, I was still friends with her. And she would have these dinner parties over on the west side in Santa Monica. And she invited me to come to them. And I just kept saying no until finally I said yes. And because it's a schlep, it's on the other side of the 405. And um, and um so i was having dinner and these people were talking about stuff that i didn't understand it was just like and i was willing to try to learn and figure out what they were talking about a, a few times and then it just was it, it just i i just didn't feel like i i cared enough to drive all that distance but i got on their email list and um oh, and here's I, the story i wanted to hear oh. yeah so i'm still on their freaking email list mm -hmm. and i got this message well let's see i transmitted the thing to brian so because it, it was so disturbing um brian dunning dunning and um and um <laughs> they were they were it was I was so startled. They were all upset about CFI um, doing this show with Kenny Biddle about about Brian's movie. And um, so I, I messaged to Brian and I said, some atheists are not skeptics. I know some like that. I'm included in an email thread they sent around yesterday with their knickers in a bunch over CFI's event with your movie. And the quote was, I believe it's a compilation. This is one of the people on that that was that wrote on that, you know, critique on this email thread. I believe it's a compilation of the standard debunker snarky propaganda and disinformation by being completely one sided and disregarding the reams of information validating the subject. It's just more brainwashing. Have you that, that right. is. That is just what the DOD slash CIA wants, it, uh, wants, period. It's this, absurd how CFI, which is supposed to be dedicated to truth and scientific inquiry, promotes this anti-scientific garbage. What happened to free inquiry? Question mark, question mark, question mark. Shame on CFI for substituting virtue signaling for actual critical thinking and failing. 
the trust of its membership, close quote. Okay. So, so it, 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 is this in response to Dunning's UFO movie? Yeah. So, okay. so I, I was, mm. it was like 530 in the morning, 515. And so I, I wrote back to them and I said, it would probably be appropriate to see the film before drawing conclusions. About <laughs> Ryan Dunning is a science communicator. He explains interesting phenomena less with snark than with an understanding of human frailties, such as agenticity and patternicity. Then in parentheses, I quoted Michael Shermer, who says, um, believing that the rustle in the grass is a dangerous predator when it is only the wind doesn't cost very much, but believing that a dangerous predator is the wind may cost an animal its life. The problem is that we are very poor at estimating such probabilities. So the cost of believing that the rustle on the grass is a dangerous predator when it is just the wind is relatively low compared with the opposite. Thus, there would have been a beneficial selection for believing that most patterns are real. And then close print, close print that was Michael Shermer's words, not Brian's, but it's what I thought of because I was half asleep. So then I continue. And Trimmer is far from the originator of that Probably. trope. Yeah, that can't be a <laughs> new idea, but that's where I first heard about it. Um, and then I, so I continued. Dunning goes beyond understanding of human nature to explain sightings um, to descriptions of how recording instruments that measure distance and angles of view of UAP work. Although he says he doesn't like that phrase, it's UFOs, um, and provides explanations for the various famous examples cited by believers, as well as a simple but striking lesson in probability and the vastness of space and the depth of time, which he referred to in this interview with Kenny Biddle, which was the Christmas tree thing. Yeah, which, uh -huh. I, yeah, which, which he horribly overblows. I like it. It's, I like uh, it's, 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 it's a great cool. example of what I call a Mencken idea. Why? After H. L. Mencken, yeah. for every, um, every for every question there is a answer, simple, clear, and wrong. <laughs> hey Leonard, what you making? So <laughs> um, I watch it, Vincent. I have the host so, powers. So I can mute you. <laughs> it always struck me as sympathetic to the believers in our built-in equipment for evaluating our environment. Unfortunately, we then I quoted Shermer again. And then um, if you have some spare time, you could do worse than to watch this movie tomorrow and decide if Dunning and the scientist and their explanations for their conclusions hold water. <clears throat> Sign Wendy. Wendy is so nice. I would have told him, you know what? Until you've seen the movie, shut the fuck up. And well, once they've the and once the they've seen the movie, they have so little relevant background that they can't come to a decision that's sensible anyway. Well, here's the thing: like I have, I compartmentalize how I feel about outer space and aliens, which is I always loved science fiction, and but I I always thought it was fiction. I didn't ever think that. It, you know that there were really strangers in a strange land kind of people or roswellians or whatever you know it was and and um i got lucky that um my ex-son-in-law gave me a book that was more than you ever wanted to know about area 51 and i'm going really you know this is this is what I thought, and I I felt like I was on the right track finally. That that somebody actually wrote a book that was it was all about what I thought, and um. But some people didn't ever get the message, that, you know. There's no evidence. All right. Well, there's, well, there's, there's, there's no, the evidence there's no, is actually all no, in Area Fifty Two. <laughs> changing the subject because. We got to get on to our game. I'm not, Rob, you're going to, I can let people in and make people co-hosts or whatever, but you're going to be putting people on teams, right? Yeah. So um, one thing that's always bothered me when I've done this is we only get the 60 second callback. And so, so I, I looked about that today and I found a nice YouTube video showing you how you set that in the options. 
And sure enough, I'm going there now and I don't have that setting in the options. Breakout rooms and it's supposed to be in the lower left that says you can change it. I get nothing there at all. So do you have something if you go to breakout rooms since you're the host? Um, I'm on my laptop, so things are a little- uh, On the create breakout room screen they showed on the YouTube video to oh, show yeah. how to do this. There, there, were, there was a setting, two settings. One was make the room close automatically in X amount of time, which you can change. And also when you do the callback, it's X amount of time, which you can change. I have neither of those settings on my screen now. I'm looking for breakout rooms on my screen. More. Oh, there it is. I'm used to having a whole bunch. Okay. My, um... I don't have it. You don't have it either. This is bizarre. Zoom it says uh, sign room. manually, let participants choose room, 13 participants room. No. Yeah, it's the same same one I got. So you're you're the owner of the account. You used your own account to start it, and you still don't get that option. This is just bizarre. Well, yeah. just we have a minute this time. M maybe. I don't know. I don't see what the number is. It's probably the two minutes you usually use, but I don't know where you set that. So I'll use here. So... Because uh, it doesn't I, matter. We live with no, the options. You, we shouldn't. We should get the same thing you always do because you started the meeting. I didn't start the meeting. Right? Well, let me see. But she's starting it from a different place. <sighs> okay, let me look. Calm down, everybody. I know you guys are all just waiting <laughs> breathlessly. Let me create a room. That's who I am. Open the room. Don't go there, you guys. Okay. Close the room. Okay, let's see how long it takes. Did everybody you did everybody get join room one? Yeah. Ooh, now I see it. So if you hit the options, now it appears once the room is created at the lower mm. left, it says options. There we go. Okay. It, and it, it's, it is defaulted to 60 seconds for some bizarre reason. I am changing that. Okay. Yeah, I just changed it. So it's on the screen after you hit create rooms, not the one that makes you create the rooms. So, so remember, just I have before, to do it each time, probably. Yeah. So before you say open all rooms, you have to do this. Okay, that's the deal. Totally illogical, but okay, <laughs> I get. It. So you got it, Rob. I got it. Okay, you got it. I cool. like the teams. What time is it? Nine twenty. No, I'll wait a little longer. Not too early to make teams. So, uh, so I just want to say to Ron, wrong. Yeah, I know. She I know. I, she was not pregnant. But she's going to try to get pregnant now. Yes. Tony. Is it, is talking about a comic strip character? Tony from Lou Ann. Is that what you're talking about? I mean, we got we're following this. This is important stuff. Faith, Faith's <laughs> face is, is incredulous as mine. It's you're important eating a stuff. carrot and you're talking about somebody from the comic strip Lou Ann trying to get pregnant. Uh huh. Sound about right. I have yeah. cookies too. I make cookies. Isn't that comic strip like over or is it over? Yeah, like, no, no. it just celebrated it's what 35th like anniversary or something. That she's, is old, like, she can't she's, get pregnant anymore. She's like 30. I know, no, no, it's not Luann, it's, it's her sister in law, her brother's wife, her older brother's wife. Oh, well, how could I not know? That? Uh, you, I, I hope you realize that comic strips. <laughs> Don't have like real time. I was gonna say all the kids in the yeah. South Park are still in fourth grade. <laughs> I know. But Ma Maggie Simpson is still a, an infant, and it's been thirty something years. Lou Anne, yeah. they age. They do age, but it's been she she was she years. was thirteen, and now and she's no, in it hasn't her second been year of college. Years. Yeah. In a while, um, she's yeah. Uh, One of my favorite web oh, comics. So uh, it's it's mm -hmm. kind of a running joke among the uh, people following it that uh, uh, a week in web comic time is a few is a few years in the uh, in real time. Can be. <laughs> yeah, Un unless it switches and goes the other way, and it's different uh, from comic to comic. It just it's depends. almost like they make this stuff up. I know, <laughs> and on Sally on Sally Forth. What they they the children people don't age except then somebody had a baby and the baby aged and like she's like three years old in about a year. <laughs> Sometimes they do. Soap operas, Spoiler. yeah. Spoiler alert: Maggie killed Mr. Burns. Just thought <laughs> it would be I I didn't really get into South Park. 
<laughs> that's it, not South it. Park. That's The Simpsons. Oh yeah, yeah, that group. Which are they different? Are, are they, they different? Very different. <laughs> they are oh, okay. Very. I was having trouble. So you guys look at my pretty house that we're in. This is this. This is our house. It's got four freaking bedrooms, four big, huge bedrooms, and three bathrooms, and a and a hot that's tub. That's important. And a view of a gas station right out the back of the corner. <laughs> wow. Is and we got Jane full, there yet? Not yet. And, and here is a full gym. The garage is a full gym with a treadmill. And, and we have a cornhole game outside. Did Adrian say she did Adrian, Does home? Adrian get there? Um, Jane gets in at 8. And Adrian's waiting for her at the airport. And they're going to take an Uber over. Because I'm not going to go get him. Oh no! Oh okay. It's Not across town, and I'm in LA. So, where, are you renting this house? Uh, yeah. The VBRO thing. You know, it what, was Rich, it was did. donated to her by the uh, the secret underground. Probably, mm -hmm. she's telling me to rent this house for a month. It's ten thousand five hundred dollars for a month. I mean, it's Jeez. nice, but it's not that nice. <laughs> Jeez, ten thousand dollars. You know, people on an expense account can do that kind of stuff. It's I, I, that's a lot of rent for uh, even for a well, four bedroom house. We're paying two thousand dollars, I think, or some a little over two thousand dollars for not quite a week. So I guess that makes sense. Uh huh. Well, the hotel room that I was going to go to, that would have been about um, five six thousand dollars to rent for a month. Oh my god. Yeah, 150 a night. So, whatever so, that. Rob, a really good deal. Robert Gerbic, <clears throat> Um Deborah and I, and eventually when Adrian and Jane get here, I don't know how much help they're going to be because they're probably exhausted. Well, Jane won't be. She she didn't leave that late. She's just going to. So, am I, so am I putting you guys on one team by yourself? Is that what we're doing? No. We'd be just talking to ourselves here in the room. <laughs> I'll go on their team. Wherever you put me, just put us on whatever team. But we'll stay there with the whole So night. I'm looking at your sheet, and right now we only have two of the five people who are doing category one. Ali said he'll be late. He's at a llama meeting. Him and the llamas. Who's the other people? Because I don't have my sheet open. It's Gail, Carl, Karen, Leonard, and Lee. There's a lot of... Uh, Leonard's here. Carl's yeah. here. As I said. Lee I have, will be here later. And I have Carl Leonard? and Leonard. I don't see anyone else. Gail? Gail was up first. And who else? Karen Lee. And, Lee, and Lee. Oh, Karen will be here. She just takes a little later. Here comes Ben. We'll be fine. Just don't make Gail first. Or J Jamie can fill in for her. You know. Yeah, they're the same. I can't tell them apart. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's the, it's uh, the beard. But one has the golden retriever puppy. I can tell him that right now. Jamie's <laughs> Jamie's a day ahead. Puppy. He already knows the questions. I know the answers. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> Jamie doesn't know my answers. Jamie, where's the puppy? We we don't want to see we you. We want to see the puppy. the puppy. He's yeah. He just went to bed. He'll be up oh. in about. You know an what? Hour. I don't think that puppy exists. <laughs> I mean, it's <laughs> not a <laughs> puppy. <laughs> Hi, um, Deborah. Oh, oh, look at Corey's I, puppy. I have my puppy. There's Corey's puppy, and Ron, that's not a yeah, puppy. puppy. Oh, Corey's got her puppy. So Corey's Mommy. in a different room this time. I'm Corey's thinking puppy. about that one, Ron. Where's George? Yeah. George I think George. I know dogs and cats. George. Where's George? Oh, Come, on, George. Come, on. <laughs> Come on, George. Come on, George. Hey, hey, hey. hey. <laughs> Who's the dog? The dog. I had the, the, dog. the dog was here. He's disappeared. <laughs> yeah, he's gone. I want to sit Peggy, would your though. dog actually respond to that? Perhaps. He, he, oh. he responds occasionally. He'll even recognize that I'm speaking to him by his name. Most of the time, it's kind of like, fuck you and Corgi, you know. But I am so excited about learning about Corgi behavior now that my son has one. Aww. Corgi, yes. corgi behavior. You'll learn, you'll you learn have to learn the wave, learned. the queen's wave. <laughs> the wave of the corgi. As a little puppy, the queen's dog. He right. he seemed to be scared a lot, and he always ran to Angela. Uh -huh. Like I'd say something to him, and he'd run to Angela and bury himself in her arms. Oh, so, Ron, that know. is a very funny looking dog. Yes. So. 
Jerry Did you hear what they're saying about Gorgiasso. you, Katniss? <laughs> I met Jerry oh. Brown's corgi, actually. Oh, yeah, Jerry Brown had a corgi. He does, yeah. Does he still? It's actually, it's actually a funny story about how uh, I ran into Jerry Brown and I didn't realize it was him. I was actually <laughs> was a little that anyone injured? <laughs> and you were making over the dog. Well... <laughs> it was my um my mom and I were were driving around you know a uh, country road in Caluso County just about a year ago every spring we like to go see the wildflowers and um we were just winding around on this road and there was this old man with uh two dogs on leashes <laughs> and my mother said oh that how urban looking out here <laughs> cuz we you know we were in this ranch land with all these trucks and dogs running around. And anyway, here was a guy, you know, in jeans and a tennis shoes, walking dog, two dogs on a leash. <clears throat> and he waved to me. So I stopped. And the corgi actually stopped, kept jumping on the car. <laughs> anyway, he was, he was, he was, I thought he was waving because he needed something, but no, he was just chatting. And then oh. he was actually asking us, oh, ladies, do you need, you know, do you need directions? Oh, no, no, we're fine or whatever. And then he was going on about, where are you from? Blah, blah, blah. Well, you know, I get a just just a teeny bit, teeny bit, um, you know, protective when a strange man asks a lot of personal questions. Yeah. So I, I, I couldn't. They don't get it. Off. <laughs> is that a thing are there are there strange men in the world <laughs> you know um, anyway so i i sort of said okay Leonard, did you know the answer to I, that? I just sort of I took <laughs> off and then, um, it was only after we drove away that i said to him i said gee that guy looked like jerry brown and she said oh yeah he has a ranch out here somewhere oh, oh that's funny <laughs> that's okay that's a you know, you can start asking yeah. questions back. Make them yeah, really was, personal. Yeah, I mean, you don't have so. to answer. You don't have to answer accurately. Oh, I know, yeah. I know, I know. You could just so. make up shit. Say you're an alien from another planet, and I bet yeah. they'll leave you alone. Let's see, Jer uh, Jerry Brown was he governor of California? Governor yeah. of California? No, he yeah. dated Linda President. Ronstadt. Yeah, that was famous. Okay, yeah, he was you. much more famous for that. Oh, he was. He was actually. He was California's youngest and oldest governor. Yeah, he was he's governor been when he was young, and he did a bunch of other things in between. Do <laughs> you guys know who this is? It's Adrian. Yeah. No, beside her. She goes, look who I'm sitting next to on the plane. He's Ooh. from Yellowstone, isn't he? You After? got it, Corey. Good yeah, I, don't, I can't remember his name, but yeah. I'm like, I don't okay. know. Who is he? <laughs> and who she, is sent, she sent me his Wikipedia page, and I'm like, oh, his name is a name? Gil Birmingham. And oh, he I was in Yellowstone, which I didn't see. He was known for his portrayal of Billy Black in the Twilight Saga. He was in Banshee, uh, Unbreakable. Oh, you mean the movie? No, I'm oh. not in Yellowstone. He was with the Twilight. <laughs> yeah, Twilight. 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 Saga. Twilight Saga. Series, Some not series. movie. He played not... Willie Black. And he was in and then it says, um, Kimmy Schmidt, too. He says he was in. He was. He got recruited for his first acting experience, a music video for Diana Ross's 1982 hit song. Muscle. And then he's been in a lot of stuff. The Adventures of Conan, A Sword, um, Riptide. Uh, did she oh, Buffy the Vampire Slayer. I was just going to say, I'm glad she recognized him and wasn't like rude. <laughs> Look, I said, were you sitting there? Not recognizing an actor is not rude. I said, are you <laughs> He showed the... him her wicked. Say who he was in Buffy. This is going to bother me. Well, I think not recognizing mm -hmm. a former governor was a little bit. It was kind of funny because well, I had no contact. He, so, yeah, it's not a contact. He was in like one episode of. Oh, Tom, I know, I know. The episode of Veronica Mars, but I remember him from Twilight. I would never have recognized any. It would. I've uh, never seen any of the things that you've mentioned so far. Me either. <laughs> he yeah. was in one episode of Buffy the Vampire Slayer, Peru Man. I saw Buffy the Vampire oh, Slayer. That's yes, more stuff Buffy. I've never seen. Yes, I remember that now. Thank you for picking that out because it was going to drive me nuts. 
Corey, you are you are on it, huh? You know, you're... I love them. Oh, so I did. Exactly. I saw the series, but I wouldn't have known one random person. What did you do on Buffy? Oh, so it's that's like what. Her. Um, I'm sorry. I don't know your name. Um, but under Romero Rodriguez, you just said hey. it. Hey. Yeah. Thing. change your name on the screen it. I was like, yes, oh, right. he but what did he do in buffy vampire slay i don't remember yes yeah, he so acted. he's <laughs> um they awaken an inca mummy girl and he's like trying to get her back into the um like the crypt because she's so yeah. he's the paranormal guy or was he yeah. a regular guy or is he a no he was just the one episode but what does he do I mean, um, he's, so he's yeah. essentially a spirit that's trying to get the spirit of like this awoken like mummy princess, like or so girl who was sacrificed, and now she's angry and she's coming after people who accidentally woke her up from a museum thing, and he is like the protection where it's like, hey, we're trying to not cause chaos with her angry spirit, but they mistake him for the bad guy. Does he die? Yeah. Now he's on a plane with Adrian. And he's <laughs> in Yellowstone. Too. So there is life after death. Yeah. What, Celia? <laughs> is, he, is he flying coach then? I guess so. I guess so. Well, yeah. uh, no, Adrian always goes one up. Whatever coach is, she goes one up. It's just long leg. Oh. Like, okay. So. I don't know, but he's probably, he took a picture with her and he, she probably sat there and talked to him about her Wikipedia, his Wikipedia page and said how we got to fix it. Or No, no. She said she had no Wi Fi on the plane. So she probably didn't talk to him about his Wikipedia page. Okay, Susan. Yes. I need you. I need you to make me the house before I can do the breakout rooms. Why? Because otherwise, you don't. The host, you can't. When you do the breakout rooms, you, the host doesn't even appear. So you're nowhere in the whole screen, which is weird. Okay. On on here it says Susan Gerbic is the host now. Wait, Susan Gerbic. No, that's me because I'm Susan Gerbic too. Oh, that's you're being. <laughs> <laughs> what should I name myself? Rob Palmer. Susan Gerbeck too. Uh, and, and no, Gerbeck. I gotta put I gotta put everybody's name. That's what I gotta do. Me, me. me Ann. <laughs> oh, don't be me, please. There's no Susan, Deborah. Susan me. I'll put <sighs> Susan and Deborah. Susan and Deborah. That's good. And then when the others show up, then we'll we'll think about putting them on the okay. list. All right. So anybody here is gonna be leaving early. Oh, I, I always leave after the second. Uh, Just you. One. Yeah. Um, and possibly me. Carolyn. We don't here. get started soon. I'll be here for about three hours. Yeah, she wants to know. Yeah, Adrian goes, why are you guys talking? Late. Too many people talking at the same time. Corey, what did you say? Um, so I will possibly be leaving early, but it's going to be in about three hours, most likely. Well, so in other words, after round two. Yeah. <laughs> okay, cool. That was like, <laughs> everything changed long. daylight savings. So I'm trying to figure the time out now. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to say, I'll set up the rooms. Then. <laughs> we could do a trivia <laughs> on the different movies this guy's on. How much you want to bet Adrian's going to do a trivia on that someday. So he's just going to show the photo, tell the story, <laughs> and she's going to say, what has he been in more than, and so we all know now, right? And we'll all remember exactly what okay, episode. Okay, we know what. now. We don't know because <laughs> we don't remember. Hello, baby. Getting Karen in stereo. She goes, uh, Deborah says, we've been talking about that guy, Gil. She goes, why? Because the, <laughs> the photo. Because we're very boring people. <laughs> we have nothing else to talk about. Hey, where's Kat? She wants to know. We Kat like to talk here. about trivial Kat things. Kat is not here. Huh. Where is she? That's... I wouldn't. Not, not here. She's... Aren't you in charge of her? You're she. You're Canadian. She's all the way up in Edmonton. I mean, well, Cal... get on it, man. <laughs> yeah, it's Edmonton like a in Calgary or in the... there. Edmonton and Calgary are in the same province. How far could it be? Uh, it's long way, a long way. Three hour. It's a three hour drive to Edmonton. A three Edmonton. hour drive. What could <laughs> happen? It could just be a storm. Hey, I've got my Skeptoid shirt drive. on. I didn't mean to be, but I, yeah. I have it on, and it was Skeptoid. Are you advertising? Well, we've uh, well, we've been having a snow. We well, we have been having snowfalls for the last few days. Uh, uh, oh. like, like Monday was. Uh, Monday the temperature was in the teens, degrees C. And then 
Tuesday afternoon it started snowing and it's been snowing and below zero since. <laughs> yeah. It's hot here. Nice it stopped it's snowing very, today. very hot here. That's that's like let's see, it looks like the snow is really hot. Not very much at the moment, but uh, yeah, it stopped snowing outside. Yeah. Yeah. My computer says it's 71 here. Oh, oh nice. hi, my I computer says up. minus eight. So we're significantly colder. My computer yeah. says it's dark here. <laughs> How come we're not in a room? Somebody's in charge. Ooh. Oh, I'm getting invited okay. to a room. There's okay, so let's where's the chat again? So there's ten there's Two women here, right? Yep. Oh. And there are two. There are two women that are. Um, these are the nine and ten are the women. Yes, so the nine. She did it the hard way, and she's here. Lies Arabella Young. Yeah. Yeah. The, I think that might, that one. I think nine might be Dorothy. I think Dorothy okay. Parker might be ten. Did I? I think nine, but it could be ten. Should we, should we do this in order? Yeah, well, maybe she could be nine. Oops. Okay, you lead us lead us on, Jamie. So I will not be back after this message. That's probably, could that be Merv Griffin? It has to be somebody who's in TV. Yeah. Or on TV. Maybe. I, thought, I thought it was Johnny Carson, but. Um, let me think. I think uh, I'd, say Merv, I'd say Merv Griffin. He's the only one who was like a host of a talk show. Yeah, Merv Griffin's good. Okay, so okay. number two. Um, that sounds like Rodney Dangerfield, doesn't it? Number two is for Deborah who can't read the screen. I'm ready to meet my maker. Whether my maker is prepared for the great ordeal of meeting me is another matter. Um, he was kind of a narcissist. Who? Uh, I mean, on this list, he was kind of a narcissist. Why, Rodney Dangerfield? I don't know. It's because I think he Jr. did a call out on a one night. Oh, no, I think I think Rodney Dangerfield's tombstone says something like, "I get no respect." Probably. Um, I was gonna suggest um, Winston Churchill, but then I was also gonna suggest for another one, like number eight. Okay, let's move to the next, and then maybe we'll have something left. Yeah, wasn't sure if it was possible. Okay, so number three, you want to read body it? Of, to me? Oh, the body of who? Printer, like the cover of an old book, its contents torn out. The script of its lettering and gilding lies here, fruitful worms, but the work shall not be wholly lost, for it will, as the believed, appear once more in a new and more perfect edition, corrected and amended by the author. Hmm. Could that be? It, it, it's That's better eliminate stuff. Oh wait, there's Betty Davis. There's a third woman on here. I didn't realize that. Oh. Doesn't that sound? <laughs> does that sound like Shakespeare? Shakespeare. Oh or no, Shakespeare is the Davis. Bones one. I know Shakespeare. Oh, oh or That's maybe Sir Isaac Newton. No, Newton. He printer. wouldn't say it with that kind of wording. He said he was a printer. Yeah, Benjamin printer, Franklin. Was, um, ben Ben Franklin was a printer. She thinks it's Franklin. Okay. Yeah, yeah, Benjamin Franklin. Yes. Okay. All right. So number. Excuse me, I can't stand up. Um, that's got to be. That's got to be. Um, Mel Block. Mel Block or Groucho Marx. Oh, Groucho Give Marx. Marx. I, I don't know about Mel Block. Yeah, Mel Block is well, um, no. Bugs Bunny. Yeah, because I don't know anything other than the fact he was Bugs Bunny. Gretchen Marks. Uh, I, I think, think it's Gretchen Marks. Marks. Maybe Dorothy Parker. No, Gretchen Marks, because he would do one-liners, you know? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I think Gretchen Marks. That's a good Okay, answer. number five. Do five, Jamie. Nature and nature's laws lay hid in snipe. God said, let blank be, and all was light. So it was a poet, an old poet. Okay, let, let. Jane Austen? That blank, the and all was light. 
it has to be like their first name because it wouldn't make any sense to let Nixon or let Newton or let Marx. No. Dorothy. How what? about that? How about that first openly gay member of the U.S. military? She's included on here for a reason. Leonard Matrovich. Could it be Leonard in there? Would that fit? That's a possibility. Could Nature and was hidden like God said. That's a good Number five the being, yeah, that makes sense. Number five I mean, is H. Okay, so five is H. That, then that makes sense. All right, six. Good friend of Jesus. Good Are you good. saying that was Shakespeare? That's the one with bones. Oh, yeah. Yes, this is Shakespeare. Yes. Six okay, is Shakespeare. Number six That's is good. Shakespeare. And maybe seven is Winston Churchill. Okay, so seven. That, that makes sense. Number seven being um, Churchill Nobody makes put sense. Robin in a room. So okay, I got to fix. I got to put Robin. Okay. Okay. Oh, uh, are you doing the notes, Susan? I'm taking notes. Yeah, but Robin. So, so she says seven is with Churchill. Yeah. Yeah, and that makes sense. Seven I. Winston Churchill, that makes sense. Which one? Seven. Hi, Gail. What Winston are you doing in our room? Oh, this is her thing. Hey, yeah. Gail, can you get a hold of Rob? Because Robin's sitting there, not in the room. <coughs> Where should I send her? Oh, wherever Rob wants her. She should probably come here, but she's got the, because we had the lowest score. Yeah, the lowest score, yeah. Okay. Put her here. Okay. I, I'm not used to somebody popping in on the room. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, why is Gail here? <laughs> yeah. That's right. It never does it where you are doing it. Oh, no, it doesn't. Okay, so yeah. number seven. This is fun, Gail. What do we so say seven, seven is, you guys? Winston Churchill, I, I hope. Number seven. Okay, and maybe eight. Alexander Hamilton for eight. Oh, oh, oh yeah, that's eight? a possibility. Oh, number eight? Patriot of England. Corruptible integrity, the soldier of a proof. Oh, yeah, power. that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. this has got to be. That makes sense. That is. Hamilton. Um, K. K. Okay. Mine nine. is. Okay, this is a woman. So that one could be Dorothy uh, Parker. Uh, she says Dorothy Deborah Parker. Also, is... Deborah agrees with you. Dorothy Parker. Who's Dorothy yeah, Parker? Was she a mystery writer? No, she was a wit. She was in the Oliphant Circle. From the 1920s and 1930s, she is uh, a wit, and she can be kind of nasty, kind of nasty, oh. like have a sharp tongue. It is. Gail, Gail, can you put Robin in here? Nope, oh, she's gone. So, so sorry. So, who is who is Dorothy Parker again? Nine. Said, them. Oh, okay. And so the last one is Jane Austen, or Jane Austen, or Austin. is it Betty Davis? Jane Austen, out there. Jane Austen, Jane Austen makes sense for number nine. So that is uh, in. I think that Jane Austen makes sense. <clears throat> Gail, are you going to put Robin over in five? Yeah, I will. Apparently, I've lost her, so I assume he's already done it, right? I guess so. Oh no, there's two unassigned people now. Who's the other one? Ken, Kevin and Robin. Well, Kevin's already on a team. He probably left and needs to come back. All right. So, well, we're done. So, but she should be on our team. Okay. Because um, we have the lowest I will, score. I will find, I will find Robin Talon. Yeah. Because I can't do, I can't do it. I don't, I'm not the person who can do it apparently. Yeah. I have to leave the room. Let me leave the room and, well, I don't have a spreadsheet. I want Rob to do it. Where's Rob? How do we do? Uh, I'm just going to let it happen because I'm not in charge. And that way, everybody will appreciate when I am in charge, because I don't let that shit happen. <laughs> oh my goodness! Do we um? Do we comfortable do we... chair? I want to sit on the couch. <laughs> Can we get number ten? Deborah's on the couch. Yeah, we said it's um. Betty Davis. Hey, we didn't do number two. What did we say? Jane no, Austen, but I think it might be Betty Davis. For no, which number one? Two? Number 10. 10. Number 10. 10 is... I thought number 10. 
Yeah, I thought 10 was Betty Davis. Maybe second. We need to take a vote because Deborah said 10 is um, Jane Austen. Oh, really? What do we think number two? Who do we think number two could be? Okay, well, we could leave it at Jane Austen. I don't care because I don't care. Um, number two. I'm ready to meet my maker. Whether my maker's prepared for the great ordeal of meeting me is another matter. Who's that? Rodney Dangerfield, Mel Blank, Sammy Davis Jr. I think Sammy Davis Jr. might do something about music, dancing. Um, Rodney Dangerfield was mainly. Did we already picked friends. We didn't have already picked Rodney Dangerfield. I think that's a good one. Let's put Rodney Dangerfield for two. And for she did it her idea. she did it her own way. Do you want Betty Davis or do you want um Jane Austen? I think it's Betty Davis. I think it's Betty Davis. All right. Jane Did Austen was a nice three. we person. get them three. Three is oh somebody for a printer. You said that, that Benjamin is, um, D. Oh, that was um, D. Benjamin Franklin. Yeah. Okay. So we that is, that. yeah, Benjamin, Benjamin Franklin. He's I don't think Nixon has anything on here. Nobody knows no. his name on it. I know it's a crook. Arabella Young on the 24th of May began to hold her tongue. Wow, I wonder what that's all about. That might be Dorothy Parker. Yeah. Some of the stuff I've got to look up later. But I don't know if Dorothy Parker changed her name. Well, it's a she. Did you guys put Robin on a team? Uh, she should be in five, but... We could put her, since she didn't get on a team, we could put her on one after. Um, now, Rob, did you end up doing that? I'm, I'm waiting till after this round. Okay. All right. So, so whoever's so people got the lowest will score. have to decide how they're going to play this, knowing that Robin is waiting. <laughs> She'll be well, we, We've got it. I mean, it's going to go to five. <laughs> Unless you're you ready, ready for the new if we get two on this round, we get it. Robin doesn't have a camera yet. You guys have to really screw It's not up. working. Um, I'll, 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 I'll reboot the computer later and see if that works. This round. Huh. Oh, I like this round. That was yeah, fun. That was fun. Right. Robin, you never look better. I know, right? <laughs> okay, so why are you ready for the answers? This is yes, an improvement. Answers, answers well, down. Okay. Here come the answers. That was fun. That was fun. All right, share screen. Okay, share screen. I don't think we did that one before. I'm going to share the screen. No, that was good. Yeah. Hey, Stones, this was fun. Okay, we're, we've got the shared screen. Slideshow from the beginning. I got number one right. Okay. I had it that way, but it changed it. Are you ready? Here we go. Number one. Is Merv Griffin? Yay. Got that. Yep. I think let's see, we got that one. Number two is Winston Churchill. Oh, oh got that, that one right too. Wow. He died in 1977. What did that one say? Wow, I was alive. Yeah, what did that one say? That one. That was that was I'm ready to meet my maker. Oh. oh. Okay. Ooh, what do you know? As the maker be. If the maker is prepared to meet me, right? Yeah, that that one. sounds like Winston Churchill. Seven. Number three is Benjamin Franklin. Benjamin. As some yeah. of you noticed, he only put on there, and this was his choice. He only put it being a printer. That was what he yeah. considered his most important thing. Yeah. yeah. Number four, Groucho Marx. <laughs> he looked till standing up. Goodness gracious. Oh, oh, yeah, I remember when he died, yeah. Him and Churchill must have had a battle to the death. <laughs> <laughs> what else could explain it? Yeah, yeah. I can't imagine yeah. anything else. Yes. Only two people to die that year. 
Number, number five is Isaac Newton. Oh, yeah. What did oh, light? Oh, it did say light in it. Huh? Nature and nature's laws, like in the um, night, I said, let let Isaac Newton and all will be light. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. Number six, good friend for Jesus' sake, was William Shakespeare. Curse be they who move my bones. We got that we got, we got it right. That's that was right. the one I actually knew before. Yeah, that's the only one I knew too. Well, E and G were the one. Uh, 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 Newton and Shakespeare were the ones I knew uh, right yeah. off. Yeah. Okay, number seven. The greatest honesty history can make is Peacemaker, and that oh, was Richard. No, no freaking <laughs> way. Yeah. <laughs> right. Oh, oh, that oh. Idea, right. Ego, ego, ego. Thinks yeah. he's a peacemaker. You know, technically, he doesn't claim that he deserves that title. He just is making a statement about what would be a great <laughs> title. <laughs> Well, he I did. think the idea was he went to China. Yeah. yeah. China. China one. After Why bombing the shit out of Cambodia and no. Vietnam. And... But these yeah. could not have been chosen by the dead people, right? These could have been chosen by the. These, the these yeah. I would have written know who chose out, them. But, yeah. <laughs> I don't have anything. I don't think Newton was quite. Well, he was pretty egotistical, but I don't think it was quite that egotistical. Oh, it's yeah. not. Well, we don't know who wrote these because these no, people that's a good dead, point. Remember? Usually survivors write them, not yeah. yeah. Well, it depends. Some people put it in their will what they want on their stone. Right. No, that's 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 less common though. <laughs> yeah, but these are not terribly recent. Trump's the sort of people who want something funny time. on their tombstone tell say it in advance. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay, number eight is Alexander Hamilton. Oh. Okay. Person. And the language which they use in the in the in the um in the words like valor. Remember back then they were still using British British writing. And and this is a little known fact that he requested to be born uh, buried upright, wearing a giant dunce cap. Not many people. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I he like she did that with a straight face too, you guys. That sounds almost. <laughs> Like a Vincent joke. <laughs> Very good. Uh, Very I wouldn't know that. And I had to make sure there were two women so that you could, it wouldn't automatically give it away. Number nine was Jane Austen. Oh, no. The lump of clay life. Arabella Young, that's her real name. You know, On the 24th of May began to hold her tongue. Mm -hmm. I, so you're telling me that Jane Austen was a pen name? Yeah. yeah. Apparently. I had, uh, I had oh, no wait, idea. No. See, I, I guess and I read every I guess, Jane Austen book. Yeah, me too. Me too. I, I guess Dorothy Parker because I thought Jane Austen was her real name, oh. and I thought Parker. That's what, I Dorothy guess Parker, oh, okay. Dorothy Parker too. Oh, okay. And okay. I steered, so I steered the group Dorothy, wrong. I was insistent. Yeah. Ooh, so that yeah, you okay. Blew well, I thought I thought Dorothy Parker uh, for, uh, for for that uh, tombstone too because. Uh, She's so hello. Hello, we hear you. Yeah, we yeah, hear we... you. Hello. Okay. 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 Just, okay. just that a lot of people seem to freeze. So, uh, so I thought nobody was hearing me either. <laughs> Number yeah. ten. Ready. Number ten is Betty Davis. She did hey. it. I think. I oh did my that. gosh! That guy's outfit has been captured. Oh my god! Why we should take that man's picture? Those are some shorts, right there. I don't there. know. It was the picture I found. I, that's them, the only oh, no. Somebody <laughs> needs to go take that picture. Is it on Wikipedia? Is that Hollywood Forever Cemetery? Let's go this weekend and take the picture. I, I, like the I, look, I, look. I did a quick. I He's did a quick with three, two other people. I did a quick look on Wikipedia, and Jane Austen's father is George Austen. How did she become Arabella Young? I don't know. Mary. Uh, Your name? What did, did she marry a guy no. named? No, no, she was or, or was she single. Yeah, I don't. I don't think that was her birth name. Ugh. Her dad changed his name. He used a fake name too. And just for your information, for the five that were not answers, yeah, Leonard Malovich was the first the veteran soldier. When I was in the military, they gave me a medal for killing two men and a death death and a. Oh, I have I've heard that somewhere. That's good. Yeah, I heard that one. I too. I didn't. I I couldn't not have it, but I knew it was just mm. too easy, right? The, the, Wikipedia page, has, Wikipedia page for Jane Austen has nothing about Arabella. Yeah. 
I don't know. Googling that, 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 that one does not bring up anything about Jane Austen. But, but wait a minute. The thing is that it's on her tombstone, and that may mean something. That may be a yeah. message from. It might have been a character something. she wrote or something. Yeah. But what she there is a there is a novel that she wrote called Arabella. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Sammy Davis Jr. He did it all. Sure did. And everybody. Mel Blank. That's all, oh, folks. Oh, oh that, no, that's when I thought no. was too oh, easy. Also, good. that's why I didn't put it in. Mm. Okay, and I found Dr. Arabella Barker. Young in this gravestone. Excuse my dust. <laughs> oh, that sounds like Dorothy Parker. I like that. Yeah. This, there is an Arabella Young, and and she was born April 1st, 1742 in Massachusetts, died 1771, age 29, and she does have that gravestone. Wow. So I just Googled what's on Jay Austen's gravestone. It says, in memory of Jane Austen, youngest daughter of the late Reverend George Austen, formerly rector of so-and-so. It mentions nothing about her literary talents of, interesting. Of the, of the gravestone. I got pictures. And also, I I think I've been to, era, to Jane Austen's grave. I think she's buried in Winchester Cathedral. Winchester Cathedral. Right near Isaac. And Rodney yeah. Dangerfield, there goes the neighborhood. <laughs> so, but but that means there's not a right answer. There's no right answer for number nine. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. That was good. That, that was, was fun. fun. Do we so, um, Rob, two, two gravestones for Jane Austen? <laughs> Robert yeah. Robert Gerbic. Robert Gerbic. Yes. Before we do the answers, make sure you do the pick who's going to be here next week. <laughs> Well, you're asking the question, so who's going to be here next week? Who's going to do a category next week? So you we got, wanted to do one. We got yeah, one yeah, person on here. Except that I won't be here next week. I'll be away um, chasing wildflowers with my mom. You and chase them? <laughs> Did they run away from you? <laughs> Sometimes looking, it feels that way. Looking for former governors. Celia, we're yeah. here again. Will Very you do important. it in two weeks, Celia? I can do it in two weeks. Can you put her on the week. chart because I don't have it up on my screen. And so two weeks, what's the date of two weeks? Um, like the fourth or fifth. Hold on. So next week would be the 28th and then two weeks would be the fourth. So I'll do mm -hmm. one on the 4th of April. In two right. weeks will be a day after my birthday. Oh, oh. we could sing you. Oh, we'll sing to you. Cute doggy, sure. Corey. Yeah. Oh, the doggy woke up, Corey. I was right. going to be still, being, but we're still no. waiting for next but week. We still need enough for. Um, I can do week. one next uh, week. All if, right. If, mono. Mono. If, if, yeah. If, if I could do it either the first or second one before. Yeah, I'll put I'll put you up first. Thanks. All right, mono. That's been a while. I can right. do a bonus if you need a bonus. <laughs> all right, let's hold off on that because you did one this week. Right. Well, or it may be. All right. So two and a bonus, two and a bonus. Or is it going to be two and Carl? Who else? Who else? Who else is doing it? Kevin. Did I see Kevin raise his hand. Peggy's got both hands up. I'm looking to see if I have one in my I don't text think file. I'm here next week. George is going to do it. I can only do it late. And and I can't guarantee late. So I should not I, be able to do I can do a bonus. Hand up. I can right. do a bonus. All right, Kev, you got Kevin for bonus. <laughs> ben. Okay, I'll I'll do one. Robin will do one. Robin got Robin on we there. Put Bill back down. Robin, you have a social again. engagement that night. Oh, Robin. what do I have? Oh, it's oh, Maggie. never mind. I won't be here next never week. Never mind, Robin. <laughs> <laughs> no, Robin. All right, we still need two more people. What's Bill's gonna... last name? Because I don't think he's my friend. What? I'm looking on Facebook at Bill, and I don't see his last name. What's his last Nyden? name? Nylon. Nylon. Why? Bill. Oh, here he is. I see him. Let me see. Ben, you got one in you? He posted 18 hours ago about Wordle. All right, so so far we don't have a game next week. I'll ask again later. Okay, okay so scores, please. So just for the scoring sake, then the the Jane Austen one isn't counting unless you got it right. Or I mean, yeah, I'm not finding it. 
that. I, I, I mean, I as far as I know, that, that I, the source I had was correct. But oh, it just seems like page not page right right no now. research confirms that, though. There's there's enough of a dispute about it since there was another person. Go ahead and get, get take credit for it if you didn't get it right. That. right. So which one was that again? Number nine. Number nine. Number nine. So everybody gets a point for nine. Is that what we're doing? No, yeah, no, no, I believe so. No one got that correct. Only if it would have been wrong. And Can it, we go with uh, it, a maximum it me of nine off. points? I thought it was Dorothy Parker. Can we go with a maximum of nine points? Gail is being very nice. Well, Keeping in mind that Robin doesn't have a team points. yet. Okay, go I ahead. Mean, I made it. an error on a question once, and I just ended up, you know, giving it, counting everybody, having it one. I think that's fair. Okay, yeah. so we're going to take it. Fine. Okay. Okay, team one. Will you take this property as collateral for well, you're, not, you're, you're starting at the top, not, not the going from, from from the bottom down. I think I, Rob, I'm telling you, you cannot mess up anything that I normally do. Whatever it is, it's tradition. <laughs> it's like a, it's Trump, like a, you have to start Trump, with the lowest score. Trump <laughs> hopes to raise his half billion okay, using his favorite seven. clothing. Reference. Okay, it's seven if we take that point. But if it seven. means that we're going to not get uh, Robin, then we want six. <laughs> so I'm putting um, that out there right now. Kidney, the gonna kidney get team. I'm going to leave. The kidney my husband never gets off work this early, so I'm going to go. Kidney team oh, goes. Bye, Corey. 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 Thank you. Bye. So are, are we getting the Jane Austen point? Yeah. yeah. Six. All right. Uh, will the expert in bankruptcy make America? We're still in last place. Seven. Ooh. It'll feel so weird to look at you doing the score whenever I don't turn it to the Austin one. Keep your filthy hands off, Trump Tower. So we're getting where are we getting the Jane Austen point? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Ten. Ooh. Oh. Wow. How do you have 996 um um on your RFRX psychic blues interview? That doesn't make any sense. What are you what tab? are you talking about? Your tab. You're the non sequitur. Susan. I'm looking at his tap. Oh my God. All right. Will you take this property as collateral and so and so? And security loans. Another 10. Yeah. We still get Robin. We claim, yep. her. We claim going, Robin. Put her Robin's her going down here. All right. I want to see her name right there. Oh, sorry, Robin. <laughs> you, you have the best, <laughs> best team name, I have to say. You have the best team name. I'm proud. It's Jamie. I'm, I'm proud. Telling you. He just uh, he Rob. has lists of them. Rob. I uh, will have to leave after the break, so maybe somebody my group needs a person. Yes. How many you got? Uh, well, gee, I'm be, I'm leaving after the break too, so uh, we'll be down to three. Yeah. We're good. Yes, but Team Five needs all the help it can get. No, we're only one point behind. <laughs> no, two points. Or one point ahead. Okay, I just talked to Bill. He says he's doing a family get together, her sister's anniversary. So. Oh, uh, okay. All right, so uh, let's see. We're doing a, a picture, I assume. Who's going to do that? Who's, who's got the whole setup on here? I don't have it. Can I put my peace signs up even though no one can see me? <laughs> yes. Okay, okay, I'll take a picture. I think I could do a picture. Let me see. Yeah, I can still I'll do a picture. Deborah, come here. I'll put two peace signs up. Okay, everybody ready? Thank one. you. Thank you, Kevin. This is my stand in. My stand in. Shh. One, two, three. <laughs> got it. Okay. You didn't get my cat yawning. Five minute break and counting. Go. Thankfully, I heard you guys talking about the okay. picture and I ran back. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you guys Bye. are so funny. Which is March 21st. Bye, everyone. Bye, Mono. Bye, Bye Mono. Mono. Again. Bye. Okay. Just Great breasted Martin, brown chested Martin. Who was here last week? What were the categories? I guess I have to watch the YouTube. You don't expect us to remember, do you? That was a whole no, week no, I was just wondering if there was anything good. It's it the first week I missed in a long time. Were you okay? Oh, yeah. I was, I was doing something really cool. Do you want to share? I was in New York City. Oh, at the, a big at the concert room. that was on TV. At, at the cutting room 
photographing um, a bunch of music people. Uh, Peter Chris from Kiss. Wow. Um, Paul Schaefer and Will Lee from the David Letterman band. Mm. Uh, Liberty DeVito from Billy Joel's band. Two people from Saturday Night Live band and a bunch of drummers that played for like Lionel Richie and Good for you. all these famous people that I don't know who they were. It was a lot of fun. Good for you. And then well, we went on a cab ride to nowhere. Them. And then we went and had some Korean food at 2 a.m. Came home the next day. It was a That's, lot of fun. I saw your pictures on Facebook. They looked very cool. Yeah, it was it was a lot of fun. I bet. We my wife met um one of her favorite drummers from um Def Leppard, the guy with one arm, and and uh guy from uh keep thinking 38 special, but it's not um another band. I keep forgetting the name of the band. Honey, what was the name of the band? Not 38 special, the other guy. Yeah. What's that? Anyway, it was a lot of fun. It looks like the answers to the last category never got posted. Oh, I, I've got them. I'll put them in. I just forgot. Mm -hmm. I suppose technically she did post the answers. She just didn't post them in the order of applying to the questions. <laughs> In other words, they didn't get posted. Right. The solution to the um, the last yes. category. Well, the whole pa the whole PowerPoint. The, the, is the list of possible answers was posted, but yeah. and and the and the PowerPoint has all the answers. Right. You guys won't believe this. Ah, and by the way, just for your information, I solved the Jane Austen thing. Apparently, what you're saying is correct, but there was a plaque installed near her Jane Austen in 1872. Her nephew had a plaque installed on the North Isle of her cathedral to honor her contributions to literature. So oh. it, it is... It is not on a gravestone, but it is next to her grave. There's a, a tablet next to the Poets' Corner in Westminster Abbey dedicated to her memory. A true resting place lies within the hallowed halls of Winchester Cathedral. So apparently she has two tombstones, depending upon where you're looking. Got it. And and that woman's name... That's one of her characters. And apparently from what it's, I'm reading here, it says that her her literary achievements weren't recognized during her life. So that's why her tombstone doesn't have anything about it. And that was the reason for creating this other one that honors her literary achievements. Interesting. So that was, it makes you think that that was her favorite character. Or they thought she was. Yeah, interesting. Thank you for looking that up. So, well, I was so concerned I'm, so, because I have a copy of I, I yeah, have absolutely with the saying on the stone, right? So I, I missed it. I, miss, I miss that, Gail. So are we reversing the adding extra? No, don't reverse it. I mean, no, no, well, don't, don't have good no. what they were doing. But I just wanted to clarify that I I, I had not made a mistake because I couldn't believe I'd made such a mistake. Especially since oh, I have the plaque. So what was the, what was the deal? The was it more than one tombstone? Yes. Yeah, there, there was the tombstone when she actually died, which is just the very straightforward. She wasn't famous yet, and it's just there. And then her nephew, after she died, and her and her uh, work became famous, had a second one put up 
for uh -huh. to honor her her characters and her literature work. Okay, that makes sense. It makes total sense. And it makes sense why we would have gotten mixed up too. Of course it did. And that's what and when I was doing it, I thought it was interesting because I thought it was just a pen name. I don't know her work that well. Mm -hmm. But it was clearly a a plaque with her name on it that said it was her. So I, I was confused. when it was really a character that well that's what threw me is I thought no that's not, you know Jane Austen isn't a pen name so that couldn't be her and so it got to be the Dorothy fact Parker. That she had a character with that exact name suggested to me that just wasn't just a mistake. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. That too. That too. Yeah, yeah. Huh. I, that's sort of an intriguing idea. How about putting a name that's not your name on your epitaph? I wonder how often that's been done. I don't know. That would be that would be kind of a curious thing to look up. I think a lot of people with pen names that might be true. Yeah, yeah. It also depends clearly from all the reading I did preparing for this. Uh huh. It depends a lot uh, who is making them. You know, oh, some yeah. of them really the people want said ahead of time what they wanted on their tombstone. Uh -huh. uh, like there's, there's a lot about um, Benjamin Franklin. He he made it absolutely clear. He did he wanted on his print only on the print. On the yeah, that he was yeah, that sounds sounds like him. I, I his autobiography in the English the, literature, the literature class that, way back when and. And he, he had this sort of understated ego to him that was like that, you know, it was like egotistical and making a point about being humble. Well, one of the greatest scientists of all time. But <laughs> yeah, yeah, but he also had a certain ego to him too. <laughs> but he made a big point of, you know, but the people who of himself as humble. Some, too early though. The person is dead, right? Mm -hmm. So like you just saw. Jane Austen, when she died, it wasn't a big deal. But right. but her nephew, by then she was famous, and he wanted to yeah make it, make it represent more. Yeah, I could see right. that. All right, we're back. People, well, what a great, what a great, what a great category. What a good subject. Yeah, yeah. If people have a big ego and they've got the chops and the brains and the experience behind it, hmm. being humble or even a little humble is more of a stretch for them. They get extra credit. I just <laughs> oh karen always has such a positive spin on everything I love <laughs> okay guys ready i'm ready you know what and one of our toilets has a computer behind the screen oh my god wouldn't believe it i just went in there and i'm like what the hell is this is remote control is it's a touch free computer because oh it's you're staying in that Airbnb that's that reality series where they're live streaming twenty four hours a day. <laughs> yeah. you, you well, I don't know about having the bathroom a toilet. to show us this thing because I don't believe you. Uh, I have I don't it would be too it's too far away to take it to show you. Uh huh. Sure. 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 <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna take a picture. I really don't believe you. Jamie, we know about Japanese toilets. They have everything. We used to have one. We when we went to Tokyo, I fell in love with it, and so it, was, it was like being a prune sitting on the toilet for like the first two hours, being in Tokyo. But then we bought when we lived in Boston, we put a Japanese toilet in, and it's it was fun, no doubt about it. Okay, so we got no game for next week because we have uh, too many open spots, I guess. Okay, look, look, see, see. There's the toilet and there's the screen and you can see Deborah's reflection. Trying to save your game for next week, Susan. <laughs> Why would you have it behind you? Behind the tent toilet tank? About it's oh, only for guys then. It's only for guys when they're standing. I'm telling you, it's ridiculous. <laughs> unless you're unless so you're much a guy. Internet, you're how much internet do you think are you gonna do while peeing? Well no, no, no. You, you, it faces the bathtub, so you can like lay in the bathtub or watch TV. Oh, for or... God's sakes, and electrocute yourself. Really? Oh no, no, you're not close no, enough no. to that. <laughs> you're just like looking there, looking up at the screen while you're soaking. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, that's ridiculous. <laughs> of course it is. <laughs> Susan has more pictures. Look, look here. See, there's a big, huge bathtub in there. On the other side of the bathtub is the toilet. 
So if you're in the bathtub or the shower, you should be able to see the screen behind the toilet. So you don't miss like the <laughs> So you, you can't take a shower without watching a screen. No, no, it's on the other side. You can still see it if you want. You don't have oh to turn God. on the computer. Well, <laughs> no, obviously, so, but so, the idea that there's a Susan, screen in a bathroom is just like well, does, the place has a gym too. Does, Maybe does, they're watching. Does the computer going. near the toilet have an IP address? <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I think you should get a point for that. That's excellent. Definitely. Carl wins. <laughs> Carl wins everything. Okay, so now what are we doing? Announcements? Hey, Susan, Rob, Rob, Rob Gerbeck, hurry up, get over here. You're no, in I was, I was trying to do something and somebody kept interrupting. So I'm letting you do it. Go ahead. <laughs> Susan, do you have any announcements? Uh, uh, skip the camp. Skip the camp. We need to say it. And, and don't forget, we need people for next week. Tell us about skip the camp. Wendy, Wendy. The plan. It's, gonna, it's gonna be um a two-day event on Saturday. We're gonna go on a, a field trip up to Griffith Observatory. And Emery's gonna take care of Jackie. And um <laughs> Sunday we're gonna have a skeptic camp, and we don't have any idea how many people are gonna show up. It oh, could be fun. just the organizers and the speakers. <laughs> Uh, it, ab about which there are some um, organizers that are also speakers. But then we're going to go out for Mexican food both nights. It could be 150 standing room only. It could be. We don't know. We don't know. I'm and, thinking and I don't know that anyone ever knows. I, so I don't know if it's unusual that we don't know, but oh. shrug. there was, we didn't that's um something we need to think about for the future. Yes, doggy. Yeah. But um that's Saturday and Sunday and I'm excited about it. And Susan's here in Los Angeles and Deborah's here. Deborah and Adrian's going to be here and Jane. And Jane. It's going to be nice. Jane should be landing right now. All right. And there's no other announcements. Anybody have announcements? I'm betting her arms will be tired. Uh -huh. Rob, you got any announcements? <laughs> Rob just interviewed me. I think he's pouting. Oh yeah. So where's yeah? Um, who's missing? We're not. There's somebody missing. I usually has something to say. Well, Kyle's not here. Kyle's not here. Kyle, yeah. Carl's Carl. not here. Kyle. Carl. So Rob went into my kitchen and got some cookies. I can tell it's chewing. In twenty in twenty hours, I'm looking at premieres in twenty hours. Here is the link for um the recovering from religion uh, episode with a certain person people here know uh, investigating psychic and mediumship with mentalist Mark Edward. Oh, is that open? Is that link work? As I said, it says premiering in 20 hours, but the link oh. works. It gets to the YouTube video, which is not up yet, but yeah. That's why you had that up on your screen. Mm -hmm. uh, sneaky. Sneaky. Yeah, they just they just released that today, but that's what they do. They give it like, they release it, and then 24 hours later, it comes up and it's available. Does, so, Rob, does Mark know that? I don't think so. Oh, I'll send it to you. Yeah, I just saw it right before we started the game. Oh, darn, I hate having to use my... Oh, yeah, so it's March 22 at 8, 8 p.m. So, yeah, at 8 p.m. is when I got the announcement. Yep. Let me see. Uh, and Mark, So Rob just interviewed me, and we were snarky. At least I was snarky. <laughs> Can't imagine I think we that. We were both snarky. We'll, we'll convince UFO believers less than the UFO movie they don't want you to see, Will. Because we were not, we were not pleasant to UFO believers in our interview. So, here's something I can say. I was telling people who were here early that I don't, I haven't been looking at Zitter, and so and it makes my stress go down not looking at the stupid thing. So, but I have been posting on Zitter with my phone, like I. I'm Does anyone else not know what that is? Because she said that in the interview, and I had to stop her and say, "What word are you using?" <laughs> I have no idea what that is. Thank you. Oh, no, it's Twitter. 
but instead of the T, it's the X. Zitter. Xer. Ah. Uh, Zitter. Exeter. Well, I heard Dunning use it once, and I'm using it now. So it's Zitter. I think it fits. But, okay. just, that's but cool. it's funny because you said it like everyone knows that. <laughs> but like, we'll say what again? What is that? What zitter? Twitter, Twitter, but with an X in the beginning. Oh, zitter. Yeah, zitter. Isn't that is not that fit? Isn't that fitting? Uh, kind of, yeah. Yeah, zitter. The thing so, that the like thing that zit, really you know? fits is because you can't call them tweets anymore. I heard someone else say they are excretions. <laughs> <laughs> Posts on X are excretions. <laughs> so I went on to I went on to X just momentarily, accidentally almost because I hit the button when I was doing something and I said, Oh look, I'm on Zitter. And I haven't been there for days. And I have been posting like some of the hate stuff I've been getting. Like I got um I got a really nasty email. I post I've been putting it up on Facebook when I see it. So I got this email. Some guy was, you know, calling me vile and all this stuff. So um, like I posted that on Twitter, Zitter. I just posted that, no comment. And people are like, oh, this is all made up because I put the guy's email who sent it to me. And I guess the Zitter people were trying to email that link and they said, it's fake, it's bouncing back. And that's because the guy probably deleted his email or something. Because when I emailed him, it, it didn't bounce. So they're saying, oh, that's fake. That Gerbic person is just making up stuff. And then on Lou Elizondo, the UFO guy, Somebody went on to Lou Elizondo's uh, Wikipedia page yesterday or the day before. They called, they said that, is it? it wasn't that I was a vile human being, but it was the gorilla skeptics or blah, blah, blah. And it, I can't wait for your utter destruction or something like that. <clears throat> so the guy left his ISP, you know, because when you leave, a, um, when you try to edit Wikipedia and you just use an IP address, then you can go and do a lookup to see where they're from. And it's somebody in Louisiana. So I put a screenshot of where the person is in the small town. And, and I put the screenshot of his location. And I said, look, if you guys, you don't, I said, this is from UFO Twitter. In other words, it's a UFO post. It, it's coming from Twitter, somebody from Twitter. So I put it up there. I said, if you guys, if this guy doesn't, um, this is more of the hate that I'm getting from uh, UFO Twitter. I said, if this guy posts anything mean or abusive or violent or whatever again about to, about me, then I'm going to, you know, alert the police in that town and let them know and whatever. I was trying to scare the guy. But. So I posted just that screenshot and stuff on Zitter. And then I looked today and they're they're accusing me of, of making it up. And because, because it wasn't violent enough, because it didn't have my name, it just said Gorilla Skeptics. And because on Wikipedia, the guy left this message that was really mean. And Wikipedia editors, one of the admins, removed it. So they said that it's not there on, on Wikipedia. So therefore, Susan Gerbic made that up. Even though you could look on the history of the page and it says missing, you know, something's been deleted here. So these people, there's nothing you could tell them that they're not going to turn. This, sure this should not this should not surprise anyone. Yeah. Who the hell gave you the right to shape and define what is true and what isn't? I actively hope for your destruction. That's that's lovely. And it and it but it doesn't say my name. And so they're saying that that is that it's not violent enough. It's not actual violence. And it's not actually threatening me. Isn't that amazing? So that's you know? that's in the article that I'm publishing about this whole thing was that we're interviewed Susan. And um, also this great article here where they're demanding that the Wikipedia editors be dismissed <laughs> with, uh, with with Susan's ID in there and other people, some of which are not guerrilla skeptics, most of which are not. None and, of them are, actually. And Susan sent me this photo and I decided I had to use this for the head of the article. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Evil guarding the entrance to the GSOW secret cabal with images. It looks yeah. just like it. <laughs> Oh, that's brill. That's that brill. is me. If you guys didn't realize it, that is me. When I had chemo and I had no hair. So <laughs> just, I love that stuff. Oh, when I saw and, all the disparaging remarks, did you notice those that, that got removed about you? Well, they, I guess they took the photo that was on your Wikipedia page when you had no hair and you drew the map on your head and people, this is making fun of cancer and we can't have this. <laughs> 
Yeah. Some people, I wrote on the back of my head when I was getting chemo on my last chemo, it's a cancer. I said, uh, science saves um, last chemo today. And somebody on my Wikipedia page said, some people aren't cured by uh, chemo and, and it's, it's wrong that somebody should be glorifying it or something. This isn't UFO Twitter. This is some other Wikipedia editor. Yep. Okay, so before we get on, we still have two spots open. <laughs> okay. Rob, Rob, I did this week, but if you need me and you can't find other people, I'm willing to do another Thank one. Thank you. I'm much right, better at writing them than I am answering them. <laughs> Sounds like we have Gail and maybe Carl again. Well, Vin it looks like Vince just volunteered. Vince had just volunteered. Vince what? Something what? controversial? Oh, God. What is that going to be? You volunteered. Oh, bring on the controversy. <laughs> that should be fun. All right, wait. So is Vincent volunteering? Did I hear that? Yeah, it's in the chat. You can't see it. He says he's going to do something controversial. Are you, are you sure about that, Vincent? Are you joking? Controversial? Let him go. All right. All he's right, good. We're talk about religion. We have a game next week. Mono, me, Gail, Vincent. And Kevin All right, Hill. great. Thank great. you guys for volunteering. Okay, any birthdays this week? We can Come sing on. happy birthday to Be somebody. Truthful. Don't hide yes, it. Yes, there are birthdays this week. Don't, don't hide it like Romano did when it was his birthday. We don't have to know them, but there are birthdays this week. No, you can't have them. <laughs> what is it? Are you telling are you telling um George that he can't have a birthday? <laughs> Peggy, I heard her she goes, No, that's not you. So, he jumped up and tried to grab something that was uh, anyway. He, no, a he can have all the birthdays he wants. All okay. right. So round three is coming up. Karen, where is Karen? That is She's hilarious Karen. that you didn't show the screen on the second round and it, and people were like, No, no, you have to show the screen. And you have to go in the order of the. It has to be the correct order. Okay. Karen, there's Karen. I right. went through computer hell uh, to get this together. <laughs> I did something simple because some things happen with this organization I work with. But anyway, then my laptop didn't work. So I'm on my housemate's ancient Vio. It's about 20 years old. Wow. Uh, Karen, why don't you just go down the street and go and into the back Zoom. door of my house That's amazing. and just yeah. go in. I'll give you the password. Just go turn on my computer and start. There you go. So I hope that I hope the uh, uh, cut and paste features and so forth work well on this ancient. I am shocked it can run Zoom. And the and you know what the screen's yeah. pretty good actually. Yeah, it took me a while and it didn't recognize a camera and it didn't recognize a microphone. I have an exterior. I mean, I just had to do all this stuff. Anyway, I, I have a snowball plugged in. Um, I uploaded. I uploaded everything to Google Docs. Anyway, here we go. And when you okay. see how stupid the category is, it's really not worth all this trouble. <laughs> <laughs> but here we go. Okay. The category is, uh, is oh, what did I even call the category? Let me look over here. The category is called, it's called uh, like uh, Kenning's sort of, you know, the uh, phrases where you, it's a word that uh, kind of captures the essence of something, but it's, you know, they're made up words. So this was a, um, these are oh. some critters. So this category is called um, Kenning, uh, Identify the Kenning esque animals, animal names. Identify the Kenning esque animal names. Okay. okay. There are creature images uh, numbered one through 13 at this link that I am going to share with you right now so you can see it. Let's see. Trivia questions. Share screen. So they're critters that don't really exist. The critters exist, their names. Uh, with uh, made up names. Yeah. Okay, here we go. So you're going to have a list that I will. Can you see this? No. Yeah, no. Yeah, here it comes. Okay. Okay, it's coming. Okay. So uh, so I will no. cut and paste no. these no. into no. the chat. No. Will, yes, yes, yes. No. Trash. Yes. 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 I'm sorry. No. Yes, I'm muting Janine. people. I'm muting on She's three, two, one. Dog, I'm muting yourself, Karen. <laughs> I'm mute yourself, Karen. Okay, it's okay. Mute. It's okay. Okay, I will cut and paste these into the chat. But you see, these are numbered uh, one through uh, thirteen. 
Now, some are not, are deliberately not. Uh, if you look at the one in the middle there, that pink thing is called toothy McNudist. That, that's a that's a gimme. It's, it's not one of them. And if you look down here, uh, down here uh, is in the bottom corner, you have <laughs> Daddy McLong time. And then, of course, you have a trash panda. So those are not numbered. But you have uh, matched the image to the Kenning uh, A, Grumpy McSnapface, B, American Murder Log, C, Danger Noodle, D, Pantless, Pantless Thunder Goose, E, e Toupee McTrump Bug, F, Fart Squirrel, G, Sir Huggles Von Death Cuddle, H, Danger Zebra, I, Muppet Claw, J, Stab Rabbit, that's my favorite, K, Wizard Cow, L, uh, Sad Eyes Von Gimme Food, M, Swimmy Mc, oh my God, what the fuck? Okay, so, okay, so, so if you click this link, you will, you will find, you will find that image, and I am going to cut and paste the A, the A, B, C, D, blah, blah, blah. Oh, that's hilarious. Which, which your group can work with. So keep in, oh, and what you have to do, oh, I forgot this, I had it written on my other do hickey how do i get you back um okay there are the um Which one is it? those are the letters uh, that you know so you do one is a two is b like that right mm -hmm. okay but you must only pick 10 there are 13 you must pick 10 you can't pick 13 and i suggest you that makes it easier <laughs> I suggest you pick the ones that you your team agrees are funniest or make someone, if they want it on it, make them say the name over and over. <sighs> make okay. them for it. Anyway. Oh, this is fun. Fun, fun, fun. There's it. actually correct answers to this? There, oh, yes, there are. When you look at it, you, you'll, you'll, you'll be mind blown. Okay. Oh, we're going to be the cool kids. We're going to know all these answers. Bye. Bye. Okay, here I go. Uh... Breakout rooms, open all rooms. Breaking our room. Uh oh, this is gonna be fun. We get Lee and we get Robin. Because mm -hmm, Lee is our, um, he's got the category tonight and Robin, because we had the lowest score and we still have the lowest score. Where are they? I want them here now. Okay. There's Jamie. Wait, Lee and, and Robin should be here. I'm gonna um okay. try to share the screen. Okay. Yeah, that's a good idea. Okay. Where are they? Oh good. Okay. Can you make them big? Um so one one is probably me... stabbed. Right I, I can't see these. I can't see them. Here comes Lee. Yay, yeah. we get Lee. <clears throat> for this round oh what's well, the next two oh, you should geez. be able to click on the images to make them big i hope so because it's otherwise it's an eye exam i know right uh -huh, there's robin i am here let me see if i can get it to be big grumpy makes snap faces that snapping turtle thing number seven yeah oh, number yes. 12 Number twelve is the sad eyes band glimp and gimme food. That one was yeah. okay. I can see on my own computer. You can't make that big like by making it. I'm, I'm looking. Well, well, we know. Okay. Well, let's just do so the obvious one, ones. I'll try to we should do the obvious. Well, number one is probably stab rabbit. Number one is a porcupine. Yeah. 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 So okay. So we're saying yeah. one is. And six okay. Stab rabbit. okay, which stab one is... rabbit? I like stab rabbit. What letter is stab rabbit? J. Number two is J. to pay McTrump bug. Oh, oh that's good. Oh, and I can number saw two. Facebook. Two is so T two is you gotta give me the number, you guys. Two e. is e. e. Oh my god, that what the hell is that? That's a toupee. Yeah, it's a little bug. One okay, J. Three. Oops. Three is uh, three, a sloth. Let's see. Sir Huggles Muppet on claw. Death Cuddle. Claw. I like Muppet Claw. Oh, where is that Muppet Claw? Okay, that's good. Muppet Claw is number I. Okay. 
Okay. Yeah. Four okay. is Danger Zebra? No. Wizard Cow. Four is four is okay. Oh, Wizard Cow. Oh, I like Wizard Cow. Yeah. Yeah. That is yeah. Great. Okay. Five. Four number is... five. I like Danger Noodle. C. Oh, that's perfect. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. I think that's I good. got it. Okay. The skunk. The, archer. the skunk is the zebra. Danger Zebra. Yeah. Right? Danger zebra, okay. Danger zebra. Oh, that would be good. I think that makes sense. Yeah. Okay, so seven, would also make sense. Fart seven is a sense. gimme. Toothy McNudis. What is that? That I can't even see what that is. Number is seven. Is, that a uh, is a is a seven a grumpy McSnap face. Okay. Yeah. And then eight. Eight a tiger. Let's see. Oh, could that, oh, that be, be the no, wait, That's zebra. the danger zebra. That could be the danger, be a danger zebra. zebra, yeah. Mm -hmm. And the skunk could be a fart squirrel. Well, that's, oh, yeah. The fart that's squirrel that's... is six, the skunk. Yeah, yeah you're right. So six, is, <clears throat> six is F. Okay, so eight is H, is that right? Yes. Okay, so nine is... I think nine is the mother Probably mother's A. Really? Yeah. Which one? No, B. B. Oh, I think it's uh, murder law. American murder law. Yeah, murder law. <laughs> that makes sense. Yeah, that makes sense. Ten is. What, is what animal is that? What in the hell what is, is that? that? Yeah. I can't even tell what it is. What? Yeah, no, I, I can't. I'm gonna look at. We can skip it, you guys, because we only can do thirteen. Yeah, we... So skip to ten. Know. What about eleven? That pantless one. Thunder, Thunder Goose. Thunder Goose. That's it. That's Thunder D. Thunder Goose. Oh, so yeah. 12 and 13. We don't do 12 or 13 because we can only do 10. Well, we can do it. Choose the ones with the most definitely. Oh, about. 7 and 12. 12 is Sad Eyes on Gimme Food. On Gimme Food. Yeah. yeah. I know what number 10 could be. 10 could be the swimming muck. Oh, my God. What is that? What the fuck is that? <laughs> because that is a fish. But is what the fish? fuck is that? Yeah, you can see the fin. Fin back there. I can't even tell. Fin. It's too small for me to see on the screen. <clears throat> That's M. Okay, and then so 13 just to do it is um... Muppet Claw? No, we already have Muppet Claw. Muppet Claw is the sloth, I think. Oh, it's Sir Huggins von Death Tuttle? We haven't used G, have we? Yeah, I would say. Oh, that makes sense. Number yeah, G. Yeah. Okay, G. so there's three of these we got to remove. Yeah, we've done all of these. Daddy makes a long time. <laughs> Sterling would love this. Oh, okay. I think I think number eleven is D. Pantless Thunder Goose. Yeah, we already That's figured. Yes, yeah. 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 okay. got that. Okay, so we can we have to take out three. We've done all thirteen, so we need to take out the three we think are the least likely because we. Can only... okay. I think we're spot on on all of them. So I just... think we are. Let's okay. pick three. You know what might be wrong is the I mean, oh my god, with the fuck thing, maybe off on that. What's what do you think number thirteen? The bear is. Oh, yeah, we think 13 might not be right. I that, think that might uh, be Sir uh, Huggles von Death Cuddle. But yeah, I would take that one yeah. out. Let's take him out. And let's take out... And what was number 12? 12 is the, the sad eyes. How about the grumpy McSnap face? No, we know that's for sure is... Seven, the turtle? The snapping turtle the looks snapping very... Turtle. Does he look turtle. grumpy? Yeah. They're always grumpy. Yeah. <laughs> Very true. <laughs> All snapping turtles are grumpy. So every one of these has a match. She should have given us a couple that weren't right. I think we keep 12 then because that's a definite. What's number 12? That's 12 is a sad sad eye. Eye. Give me food. The dog. Oh, sad the eye dog. on gimme food. All right. We need to take one more out. I would oh. take out 10, 13, and the can't trash panda, whatever that is. How about number one? Um, Muppet Cat. Yeah. Oh, trash yeah, panda is actually not one of the yeah, numbers. Right. Number one, we have a uh, stab rabbit. Let's take that out just because. Oh, I love, yeah. I love stab rabbit. I think it's so yeah. great. Yeah. 
But we have good. to take three out, you guys. You got to give me one we'll more. We'll take thing. out American Murder Log, the alligators. Oh, but the frog is. <laughs> yeah. no. Or fart squirrel. Take out fart squirrel. <laughs> but that's obviously the fart squirrel. <laughs> okay, so take out Murder Log. That is. Um, I don't think it all matters. This, Karen, we got them all. Okay, so we're taking out 9, 10, and 13 just because we have to take three out. And what would 9, 10, and 13 be? 9 is... Alligators. Is the murder log, American murder log. And 10 is... Swimming my... Mac oh my God, what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> and what did you say for 13? Oh, that's so cute. We're not sure what 13 Oh, Sir Huggins von Death Settle. Yeah. But see, everything has everything matches, you guys. So there's nothing left over. Yeah. Who's talking? I'm gonna send you back very soon. Okay. Oh, she's been in everything. Hey, Robin. She's really good. At she's been in the Crown as Princess Margaret. Oh, that's it. That's it. I remember She's that. been in Sweeney Todd with Johnny Depp. Did a lot of things. Well, I'm sure glad I can rely on you. You usually know these things. Well, I recognize her. I just need to look up on Wikipedia. Right I can hear Bob. But I recorded the first episode and I like it. Oh, good. I can't literally. Robin, you're talking. We can hear you. Is that is that Corey talking about going to Wikipedia? Robin, where you been? I went to the bathroom. No, what? I just <laughs> went back. Why were you so late? I think. Oh, I just um, I was working, bathroom? and then I had to stop at the grocery store on the way home, and time gets away from me. I swear to God. The older I get, the more time speeds up and the less I get done in a day and the more time and the more hours it takes me to get the shit done. Cindy, can you unscreen share since we got it? All right, just about. Um, I know time is fleeting. Crazy. Time is fleeting. But going to Antarctica reminded me that I would like to retire soon and just go birding all the time and forget about civilization shit. <laughs> And Lee had his Lee had his llama meeting. So what did the llamas talk about tonight? Did you have like a little conference with the llamas? Uh, our board of directors. We have two or three people that love to hear themselves talk, and they can discuss these stupidest things for the longest amount of time. <laughs> somebody that sounds wanted, like my H HOA board meeting. Oh God! It's like or somebody, any court wanted, hearing. somebody wanted to have make some sort of little giveaway trinket sort of things, and they discuss: should we do magnets? Should we do sticker? Should we do pins? Should we do little ribbons? <laughs> and I'm like, who cares? It's garbage, you know. You're gonna, pick, you're gonna go to the state fair, somebody's gonna pick it up, and they're gonna throw it in the trash. I don't know. <laughs> Don't be I'm, so cynical. I'm a little please. cynical on stuff like that. I'm like, you know, let's get down and talk about important stuff. Like, you know, make plans for things. But this, you yeah. <laughs> know. Well, maybe make a little llama pellet things that they could eat. Like little, little treats for llamas. Yeah. So that people could pick them up and they can feed them to the llamas. But I don't think people should be doing that. I don't think they should be feeding are you kidding? Everybody who visits my ranch, I have bags of llama treats, and all that everybody. But feed you llama. have That's the llama good. treats, not they. Well, they're ho they're horse treats, but oh. llamas don't care. They're not particular. They go. <laughs> That's <They're>... for horse. <laughs> no, I have I have bags of this. Plus, I don't know. I was at Safeway, and they have those uh, twenty five pound bags of juicing carrots. Yeah, the little mini carrots. Well, no, but it's a bag that's like. This big around, it's 25 pounds. Yeah. And they're they're all the ugly carrots that they can't sell in the produce department. Ah. And they're used for horses. juice for people to drink carrot juice because you're just going to mm -hmm. throw it in a blender. Well, for people like me, I just 
go out and cut them into little bite-sized pieces and feed them to the llamas. Well, that's what they should give away at the uh, fair. You get big bags like that, let people take the little thing and go over to the llama and feed them. Oh, yeah. I, that's the one thing I would, yeah, here, here's a carrot, here's a knife. <laughs> <laughs> well, you could already cut the cut the carrot. Well, the, you know, seeing people at the state fair is almost as exciting as going to the DMV. I mean, you're just <laughs> all sorts of things. Which I had oh, to do come that. On. What? They, come on. They're gonna be nice. I'm sure the I'm sure the I'm sure it'd be fun seeing children interacting with the llamas. Oh no, no. Are you kidding? I love the kids. I when the kids are there, it's just great. And I um you know, like I said the four days I'm at the state fair, I'm there standing there in my booth twelve hours a day for uh, four days straight and just talking to little kids because they all learned there's a whole series of, you know, Llama Llama, Red Pajama books and- Llamas with hats. Hmm? Well, Llamas. probably half probably half the little kids around learned to read by using those books. I was gonna say Llamas so, with I, hats. I'm sure that okay. all the kids learned that first. The Carl and the dead llamas. And... Oh, you must have at least one llama named Dolly. Yeah, I do. <laughs> <laughs> is that a thing everybody's got to have a, a llama named dolly a dolly llama actually, <laughs> actually no, i had dolly. a very dear dear friend that was a llama breeder as well and she passed away about a year ago and her name was dolly and i had a, a llama born about i don't know a month or two after she passed and i just i personally I thought it was really corny to name it dolly but after this friend died then it was like no, this is kind of honoring my friend. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dolly it's obligatory. Lama. I think that's sweet, Dolly. Yeah. Lama. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it and it is kind of fun when you, you know, take her to the library or something and tell the people, well, now go home and tell your parents you went to the library and met Dolly Lama or met the Dolly <laughs> Lama. <laughs> Kids, I said, you don't understand it, but your folks will get a kick out of it. <laughs> <laughs> I think all I think all your llamas that you bring to the fair should have wear hats with a with a flower in it. So they could be the and you should name them all Carl. No. Carl. You guys don't know what I'm talking about. Lee knows what I'm talking about. I know what you're talking about. But That's... Jamie and Robin don't, right? You guys never no. saw uh, them this has something hats? to do with a cartoon like yeah, uh... llamas with hats. Yeah, it's a very on. it's yeah. a cartoon written by a very disturbed person. <laughs> Wonderful. And, and so did you see llamas with hats? Shortly, shortly after I had first met Susan, she told me, "Oh, you've got to see this." And it's this. <laughs> he listened to me. It's a sociopath llama who kills people and ends up destroying the world. And I it's barely know Susan. And don't I'm like, say, don't say. And I'm like, "This is a sick lady. <laughs> she wants. She thinks this is entertaining." You know, hey, he still came back to trivia. <laughs> they are. Hey, Vincent, we're recording. Yes, I, I hear that. <laughs> <laughs> like, people, the five people who are watching this who've never played the trivia game go, people are weird. Why, why yes, do they always well, with Vincent? Vincent, are we recording? <laughs> yes, we are recording. Isn't that uh, fantastic? Uh, oh, it's hilarious. It's Welcome the back. best thing. So we, we need to train somebody to tell us when we're not recording. So, what happens in the beginning of this game? Oh, I know. We forgot because Rob maybe changed the recording. Maybe change host. It made it stop oh. the recording. Did Did you post this on your Facebook page with recently? I, I I did, Karen. I did. What did she do? So uh -oh. yeah, so that's why we got a ten out of ten. It's like uh, I don't know. I saw this on Facebook <laughs> real recently, and I oh, remember. Oh, it's been going that. around Facebook for years. <laughs> um, oh, the thing we just did today. Uh huh. Oh, yeah, that's funny. Yeah. So let me share screen. Okay. I'm good. I feel cool now. Okay, I know Brody McBoat face or something, you know. Okay, now when I show it, you all, you're going to start going, oh, uh, ooh. but I'm going to, um, I'm going to say them. So we'll, you know. Ooh. No, I mean, no, I mean, I'll go through the <laughs> list. I'll go through the uh, list as well. We're just yank, say we're them just like you were your chain, Karen. Say them like you were Susan. Mispronounce everyone. <laughs> oh, okay. With extra R's. Okay, okay. Let me try and. Try and get it in the 
I've got a lot. Oh, this doesn't have much showing on the screen. Let's see. Okay, here we go. There it shows everything. Now I will. Okay, now I will share screen. Share screen. A likely story. Oh, that's sharing sound. We keeping you awake, Susan? Okay. I am tired. I think Deborah's falling asleep on the couch. Okay. We have a book. We have a bookstore by she's that. Barely, day. she's barely hanging in here. I'm sorry. I will cut and paste the answers into the chat as well. Number one is J. J. It is a stab rabbit. That's my favorite. <laughs> number, number two is E. Toupee McTrump bug. God, it looks like it, it does, doesn't it? Three yeah, is yeah, I. It Muppet does. claw. K mm -hmm. is four. Wizard cow. Five is C, danger noodle, which that is what Faith calls them. <laughs> C is F, fart squirrel. That's my favorite. Seven yeah. is A, grumpy McSnap face. Eight is H, danger zebra. Number nine is Rob's favorite, American murder lock. That's B, great. <laughs> um, ten is M, swimmy, but oh my God, what the fuck? If you that's look at it, that's, that's the mouth and the teeth, and you see the eyes and the fins behind. So it's what like, is that in real life? I you tell me, and we'll oh, both know. It's a we'll fish of some sort. Okay. It's I a can't snake. see it big enough. Some kind of fish. It's in. It's a, a kind fish. of snake. It's, it's a, a fish, fish with its mouth open. Swimming, maybe. swimming. Like oh my god, what the fuck? Okay, it's it's a fish. Maybe I don't know. I gotta look at it. I can't it. really tell. It's hard to see. Its mouth is see open, its jaws unhinged, and it's swimming. It has fins. Okay, 11 oh. is D, pantsless thunder goose. I like that, that, one. We I all, love that one. We goose. always had people in our neighborhood that we probably <laughs> could call pantless water. Uh, yeah, thunder goose. Thunder goose. Uh, okay, number 12 is the is L, sad eyes, Vaughn. Isn't that the cutest thing? Oh, give me That's food. every dog on the planet. And 10 is food. G, yeah. Sir Huggles, Vaughn, death death cuddle and, uh, <laughs> well, stop sharing <laughs> what is that what is that black thing that says dead a long time what, what is that i think it's a trilobite bite. it's a what i think it's a trilobite it's a oh thing. i have it's to relook at this when i can see these images bigger off of this screen okay let me put the answers in here leonard's Should got I... a parrot on his shoulder no i don't it's oh. hummingbird it's a hummingbird. It's, a hummingbird. it's on his shoulder. Baby it's hummingbird. a humming. It's a hummingbird feeding baby hummingbirds. Oh my god! That is so exciting. Your I've never seen a hummingbird wonderful. nest. Your nest shots are mm -hmm. wonderful. I can't oh, the, nest, the nests are teeny. They're so tiny. They're really mm -hmm. teeny. Okay, yeah. so here is the, and we're seeing the the growth of them. So there's the link to the image for the answers. And uh, thank you for playing. That was fun. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Yeah, that, that was a lot of fun. Thanks. But I think Karen. everybody got tens. Let's see. <laughs> Rob, where'd you go? Not quite. Oh, there he is. He's in the middle of the screen. You moved on me. I do that sometimes. <laughs> Wendy's in the top space there. I went into a couple of rooms and they were saying one D. I said, no, you gotta say the words. <laughs> yeah, she was she's into it. Cindy was great. Thank you very much for your enthusiasm. You? You, Cindy. She says, that, she says what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna, you're going to get the, the video demonetized if he keeps swearing. Uh, I don't have monetization on this. Okay. So let's start with uh, the team still in last place, but uh, slowly catching up to yeah. the next place team. Trump hopes to raise his half billion using the favorite clothing, Russian ties. Ten. Yeah. Hey. Thirteen, actually, but I know this count. Did, really? Did you do them all? Well, we did, and then we took three oh, off. Okay. okay. How did but you decide? How did you decide which ten to choose? We we just kind of threw three that were like sort of not, but we knew they were right, so yeah. we could have taken anything off. I, I like the American murder log because I actually went on one of those um, boat rides to the Everglades at night and you could see the little eyes of them and they, they looked like oh a log. They looked like just little eyes on logs, but yeah, they're murder logs. <laughs> <Like that one. laughs> they're like, and they're licking their chops when, mm. yep. 
All right. Kidney used in first successful transplant from pig trunk. A binary two. Right. What? Very good. Wow. Very good. Very oh, good. okay. Ten. Good. He said ten. Binary two. Oh, I One thought he zero. said ten. Okay, two. Yeah, I, I have a I have a shirt which says um, uh, there are one zero type of people in the world. <laughs> people who get this and people who don't. Yeah, um, that's good. Yeah. Uh, all right. Will the expert in bankruptcy make America bankrupt again? Ten. <laughs> Did anyone not get a ten? No, but it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Karen wants to we'll hear have each your filthy hands off Trump Tower. Score. I found Ten. fish. Ten. Ten. You found it. Faith found the all the points. Oil. I found the fish. It's called a sarcastic fringe head. That's a better name. And um, <laughs> the real name is what it should be nicknamed. I was gonna say that the real name is as crazy as the <laughs> what the fuck. <laughs> All right, did Team One get ten? I didn't hear it. Yeah, and it's found in California. We were ahead for a we're, moment. We're tied for first yeah. place. Our, t our team has a question because that was round three and, and our person, Leonard, in round three was supposed to be giving questions. Leonard's round four. You're going on the log. All right. Leonard, you're round four. Apparently. So oh, I'm up next. Adrian and Jane are on their way. They're, yeah. they're, they've met at the uh, airport and they're on their way. That's Excellent. <laughs> Yeah. Leonard, 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 okay, so Leonard on my screen. There we go. Giving I'm your here. powers. Okay. Have I been empowerfied? You've been empowerfied. He only has one job, you know. All right. Let's see if I can make this work. So my, I have, uh, in the last couple of weeks, been modestly obsessed with two things. One is the subject of my background, which are the cute little hummingbirds. But the other is the upcoming total solar eclipse. eclipse. For some of the country. Well, yeah. it's upcoming everywhere. Mm -hmm. <laughs> But you know, not everyone's in the path of totality. I mean, you have to have Janine. Miles, she, Janine miles. organizes these. Well, yeah, I know, but I was one. sharing. According to the Liberty Thank Science you. Center in New Jersey, which is having a big party that day, uh, it's going to be ninety-two percent in uh, northern Jersey. Yeah. Well, it's yeah. it's either um, one hundred percent or it's not worth it. No uh, binary choice here. <laughs> no, this yeah. is absolutely a binary choice. Yeah. Okay, so these questions are about eclipses. Okay, muting everybody in three, two, a one. Unmuting. Unmute yourself, Leonard. You're muted. What is the current maximum length of a total solar eclipse rounded to the nearest minute? By current, do you mean for this eclipse? No, I mean for this epoch. Eclipses oh, okay. um, are are temporary on a geologic scale. Number two. An eclipse season is a time period over which lunar and solar eclipses can occur. What not, is the minimum number of eclipses in an eclipse season? We're not getting your numbers on the... Uh, the yeah, basement. they're not copying. Yeah. Which is quite annoying. Number three, what is the maximum number of eclipses in an eclipse season? Number four, how often do eclipse seasons occur? Rounded to the nearest month? Mm -hmm. 
Number five, when is the next eclipse? Plus or minus two days. It's weird that the numbers aren't showing up at all. Yeah, they are not showing. They're not copying. Just paste them in when you put paste the question. I can't. No? Oh, I can. I can do it before I hit return. Yeah. So, so this on one is. Seven? This one is um, number six. So six. What is the correct term for what is sometimes called a blood moon? The next questions all relate to the April 8th, 2024 eclipse. Number seven. And I'll give you the number. When is the next total solar eclipse visible in the contiguous 48 states after the April 8th, 2024 eclipse within one year? What world famous natural wonder is in the eclipse path of totality for this eclipse? <laughs> How many? U.S. states are in the path of totality for this eclipse. Plus or minus five. Number 10, how many Canadian provinces are in the path of totality? Plus or minus one. And because these are a little bit difficult, there's a bonus. What U.S. state experiences totality last? And now I should probably send people to their rooms. Let me show you Fenway. Fenway, look. Oh, oh my gosh, Jamie, oh, that, that is so freaking cute. Is that a golden retriever puppy? Deb, you woke Deborah yeah. up. She's coming to see the puppy. Uh -huh. Oh my God. Hi, puppy. Oh my God. Uh, I'm having cute uh -huh. overload. <laughs> oh, that puppy oh is so happy. Oh, Look at it. So cute. Baby, baby. Oh my God. Where did you get it? Ah, he comes from the UK. And, oh, wow. Um, the breeder. The breeder was um, on the west coast of the country, and they brought the mother and father in from the UK. And oh, so wow. He just turned 11 weeks. Oh, oh. So oh my God. Cute. Look how happy that baby so is. Oh, cute. Who is your baby? Look okay. <laughs> so is he, is he chewing up your whole house? Is he destroying everything? No, he's, he, he's really well behaved. We had a, a dinner party last night to get him to socialize with a lot of our friends. And uh, he's good, but he's double the weight. He's gaining about four pounds oh. a week. Wow. <laughs> the baby. Such a wow. fun age. That is such a sweet puppy. He's a cute. I want so a puppy. So cute. 
So cute. <laughs> okay, goodbye, boy. Oh, it's getting heavy. God, it's getting heavy. <laughs> okay. He's going to be lifting you up soon. Jeez. But he gained, I guess he's gained about eight pounds since we got him. Wow. Okay, don't who's the eclipse so. person here? Okay. I don't know what these. Here we got. I have no idea on any of these questions. Probably um, Lee and Robin know them. <laughs> well, I think it, I think an eclipse lasts a few minutes, maybe it, eight minutes or just well, a few seven minutes. beginning to the end. Now I have done an eclipse, and so is Deborah. So I know I've been in eclipse. Yeah, there was one in Houston, Texas, a few before the pandemic. Okay, so the maximum. Well, I didn't minutes? know. Is he talking about the length of your? I, that's the question I had is is that is he talking about well, the whole well, time the eclipse is happening. happening as it goes across? Yeah. North America? Yes, in other or, words. Or is he uh, talking about the, the, you as one person standing there looking up? How long do you experience Oh, there? that's a good question. Because the, the eclipse begins. That's true. It could be hours. But yeah. in totality, but the totality is just a few minutes. Yeah, so yeah. what would be the maximum? Oh, Ten yeah. Minutes? I guess so that's because what the, I the, the eclipse could last for like an hour and a half an hour. as it okay, as it rolls cool. across the United States. Right? No, he's, but meaning, it's a he's, meaning, he's meaning like this. The because that's why means he's the whole the thing hour. flows across. So you figure it's going approximately a thousand miles an hour. Yeah. And it's going... From southern and Texas I, I guess up to I New bet, England. Exactly. I bet that's what he means. I think I bet so. It's like so. A, I think, bet it's like an hour and a half or something. Yeah, I, yeah, I'll go, yeah, you want to say 90 minutes? 90 minutes. 90 minutes. So yeah, it's like 90 said. minutes. He said, how long is it in this epoch? So wouldn't it depend on, like, I don't know, like where, it, what the path was, right? No, I think it's exactly. the so from the experiencing. Yeah, I thought it well, the from the south. It's this one's going to the northeast, so it starts in the southwest and it goes to the northeast. So, for the whole pathway, how long does that pathway last? When does the so the eclipse begin in wherever it yeah, is, that's what New Mexico? Let's see what. Oh, I don't think that's what. What, what is the current I, max? I, 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 well, hopefully, any Leonard point, comes in and we can ask him. I think at any given point. You guys, I think minutes. it's I think it's to the observer minutes. because otherwise, how would we to the round to the nearest minute would be too hard if it was the total. The entire... I think it's to the person who's observing it. How long is it? Yes, I think. Yeah, and I bet it's two minutes. I bet it's not no more than two minutes. Um, oh no, no, but once but once the eclipse begins, it does yeah, take from whenever the minutes. whenever it starts to cross. Just begins. I think. So it what is the anywhere. maximum length of a total? So. So Probably. is is it the like, the length of when the when the moon first touches the sun? Yes. Yes. Until so when it until the moon leaves the, the sun. Yes. Okay, I think no, like okay. Okay, this Leonard. Hey, Leonard. You got a question? <laughs> okay, let me <laughs> ask. Over three possible Please. interpretations of the first question. The first question could be how long no. uh, is the length um, of time that it takes to go from the the path, the beginning of the pathway to the end of the pathway. In other words, from like New Mexico to Maine or whatever it is. Or, or how long does it take the moon from the time that it comes in front of the sun until the time it exists. stops kissing the sun? Or how long is the moment of totality, which is a very short period of time when you're looking at the corona? It's totality. Totality. How long is the moment of totality that How, we can put our current maximum on and length look of totality? And well, see the corona. Well, I, right? I certainly hope you don't put your glasses on for totality. Okay. Is it, uh, oh, so so is it as observed by an individual or is it the totality? Yes. Yeah. The totality okay. as, as observed by, by an individual. Human. standing in one place. <clears throat> How right. long would the total okay. eclipse be? Okay, okay the maximum. Okay, okay. so totality. Thank you. So in that case, in that case, I think it's like two minutes. Yeah. 
it's not very long. Um, it, no, it's longer than that, you guys. It's probably and it's a long. It's probably closer minutes? to five, four to five minutes. Because when it first touches it to all the way over. Then he said that no, 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 oh. no. When you have a corona, he's talking about the moment of totality. The part where you don't need your, your point of totality. No, the because it's around it to the nearest minute. It can't be like two. He just told us. I just I just put three Big. possibilities out and he told that he picked he Fatality. ruled out the one you're describing now and he picked the other one. And he said it was the part that where you don't need your glasses. Yeah. yeah. So maybe what Totality three minutes? For one. What do you for, the, for the time for the time that it takes when the when the moon first starts kissing the sun until the moon departs the sun, that's like forty five minutes. That's but that's, that's not that's not what it is. That's not but totality. that's not what he's asking. That's not what he's asking. He's asking exactly. for the moment of totality, totality where you can see a corona. Yep. And that is probably no, no. I he think said you didn't have to have your glasses on. That would only be a totality. Once yeah. so that's totality. Like three minutes or something. Three three minutes? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, really in question minutes. one, you guys. Come on, move it move it, move it. Let's okay, go in minutes. three minutes. Let's three go minutes. three minutes as a compromise. Number two. All right. All right. Um, the minimum number of eclipses is it? It's, it's confusing. Number two must be two, right? I have no if idea. You, if you have a lunar eclipse two. and a solar eclipse in the same season, the minimum would be number, two. No, 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 no. This has nothing to do with winter and summer. An eclipse no. season is defined as a time period <clears throat> over which lunar and solar can occur. What is the minimum number of Eclipses in an eclipse season. Two. I have no idea. <laughs> it must be two. two. If you want to say two, that's fine. The smallest eclipse, right? amount would be two. One of each. Okay. Must be two. The, maximum, the maximum number. Twelve. Four. <laughs> One a month. Is there lunar eclipses all? Is there? It could be any. I don't know. It's just around the world. Basically. Should we make them try to figure out how to open the door? <laughs> no. <laughs> Louis yelling at him through the door. No, it's nine. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. But I thought, but I thought eclipses, right. I mean, but he's not saying total eclipses. It could be partial eclipses. That happens often all over the world. Yeah, they're all the time. That's why it's a confusing. It's confusing. So what is the maximum number? Leonard's back. So uh, making it clear that for number one, <laughs> as, as I you already got this. That it's it's totality. So mm -hmm. I've been through all five rooms. Everybody knows that. And yes, I'm back. Is anyone going to to boo me or something while I'm here? We could, but we were uh, going to. How often do eclipse seasons occur around the nearest month? I don't understand the question. So Leonard, in eclipse season, I mean, eclipse even partial eclipses can occur around the world often. So in eclipse season, it could be partial eclipses anywhere in the world that could be seen there's a thing called an eclipse season so is that a year you know what or is that decade? If, and if how you, often and if do you, they occur and if you if you know month. what if you know what they are then you'll know the answer and if you don't okay. you don't then you guess okay All let's right. move on to the next question how often okay, do you, I think it's kind of like earthquake weather. yeah how often uh, do okay it says how often occur? do eclipse seasons occur See, we don't know the answer to that because we don't know. If we answered this, we would be able to answer the other ones. <clears throat> so moving on to six, what's the correct term for what is sometimes called a blood moon? Does anybody know that? Oh, yeah, what's, um, I think that's a total lunar eclipse. Okay. Because when you see a total lunar eclipse, the, you see the, the moon looks red. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Oh, it says when is the next eclipse? Well, he gives the answer. April eighth. It's April eighth. April eighth. April eighth. Yeah. Okay. So number he gave the seven. Answer later. When but, is the but next there total could be a, solar? There could be a lunar eclipse. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. There could be a lunar eclipse somewhere else in the world prior to April eighth. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Otherwise, he just gave us the answer. He says after. He gives April the answer. Uh -huh. after. after. So when is the next? Total solar eclipse visible. It doesn't say that. It says, oh, oh after, when? after April 8th, 2020. But when he says, when is the next eclipse plus or minus two days? I think he, I think that's a trick question because he expects us to 
assume hey, that the correct. next eclipse is the total solar eclipse, which happens on April 8th. But it could very well be that there's going to be a lunar eclipse in bumfucked Indonesia in two days from now. Hey, but I don't know. Does anybody know? No, I don't know. So it's a I guess. would say I I think we should take a stab and say April first or something, because okay, I think April, it's a trick question. April first, which is nice because it's April Fool's Day. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, it's April first. These are Shabbos stuff. You didn't even talk. Oh, okay. So, what? When is the next total solar eclipse visible in in the United States? After all well, this, isn't, isn't something said like thirty six years? Within a year. Yeah, yeah. I thought I read something. I thought, I thought it was okay. Thirty six years. years. It's like twenty fifty. I'm just 20, guessing. 50, I I read something. Okay, thirty six. That's probably plus about right because I know the last one. Was like forty years ago, so that's so that's probably twenty six years. Thirty six years. I thought we so. had it. Just didn't we go to a total solar eclipse? Yeah, back in like the nineteen seventies. No, we we yeah. were just in one over at Fort Dallas. Yeah. Mm. That was wasn't that a total solar eclipse? Yeah, that was a whole. Is it a total? Oh, okay, all right. Okay, okay. okay so right, there was one. Right, yeah. It's not 36 years. I thought it was um, 2025. No, no. It's going to be a long time before we have the next solar eclipse. I thought it was like 2045 or 50. Yeah, I thought it was 36. Only in the United States. Well, the 48 continuous state. 36 years would be 2060 would be the next one then. Okay. 36 plus 24. Okay, uh, so, so 2060. 2060. Oh, I want to be here. Okay. What world famous natural wonder is in the path of totality for the April eclipse? Like is it Grand, Grand Canyon? Canyon? Is it the oh, Grand, Canyon? Grand Canyon? I bet it's yeah. the Grand Canyon. Yeah. No, it's not in Arizona. No, because it starts in eastern Texas. Oh, okay. You know, uh, Niagara Falls? Uh, Niagara Falls? Yeah, I know Niagara Falls because it's going to be right Bingo. over Buffalo. Niagara Falls. Oh, yeah. yeah. Niagara Falls. Let's go. Oh, this okay. guy. Yeah. Good job. Okay. I like that. It's nice that we can be done. How many Canadian provinces? I think you've got uh, PEI and you've got uh, Nova Scotia. But oh, we've missed nine. And... Yeah. Oh. How many states? Well, remember, you're, oh. you're talking about totality. Totality mm -hmm. is only a few hundred miles wide. So if it's crossing at Niagara Falls, you're going to hit Quebec. And probably isn't a whole lot else else in Canada. Um, Nova Scotia plus or minus five. Three. Though. No, the Canadian one. No, the Canadian one. Well, if it's one, plus it's or minus, minus five, five, you might as well say five because. No, no. If you're no, asking no. what Canadian. Oh, I'm sorry. Canada oh, is oh, plus oh, minus one. Canadian province is plus or Canadian minus five. Canadian is sorry. probably three. Okay. So are you uh, just about done? Sort of. No. no, we need about five more minutes. Okay, so All number right. nine, you guys, we didn't do U.S. state. So it's All coming right. all the way from Texas all the way up to New York. I didn't thought, I thought it started in the west of Texas, but. Yeah, it starts in the west of Texas. So it's going to Okay, hit so it's, it's going to be Texas, Oklahoma, Kansas, Missouri, Arkansas. Well, I don't know about Oklahoma, but I think it's going to be you know, Arkansas, Missouri, probably do Indiana, Ohio, Illinois, New York yeah. State. And then if it's going to get up to New York State, Pennsylvania, Ohio. Let's yeah, at least twelve or thirteen states. Let's probably. say yeah. let's right. say thirteen. Do you think it could be higher than thirteen? Because he gave us a plus or minus five. How about we say eleven? Okay, let's say eleven. That'll that because okay. we, we have five. And oh, then, it covers all the way up to sixteen. Yeah. Okay. How many Canadian, Canadian provinces, provinces? I would say three. I would say three or four because it's. I say three. Okay. Okay. What U.S. state experiences totality loss? I know it comes right across Buffalo in New York. 
and it goes into uh -huh. Niagara Falls. So then is it might, New York? Yeah, it would help. Then it would be New York. Maine. Then it would be New York because I yeah. could be Maine. It could be Maine. But... No, I don't think if it's I going across at that angle. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, so we it don't could know hit like the west, the western edge of Maine. Well, it's the to like like Lee said, small actual totality that you know some they could see something, but it won't be in that narrow window. Okay, so three and four we don't have, which is one, two, three is what is the maximum number, and four is how often do eclipse seasons occur around into the nearest month? What does he mean to the nearest month? I have it's no idea what that is. is. I and, and no I do that question. Season is. So rounded to the nearest month, does that mean we get to pick like August or July? Yeah. What does it mean? Four? Yeah, could it be four? four every... Okay, oh, let's go four uh, for question every, four. Every two months, every three months, I don't know, two months? We answered four know. because we we're just guessing. So number three um what is the maximum number let's say six okay six that's good that's an answer i mean uh, you know i i don't know nobody we don't know but we, so have, we just have to guess they seem, they seem reasonable cfi up there in buffalo is really going nuts for this for the eclipse i mean it's like they're really into it it's going to go right over there Place they're putting ah, up. Uh, no, they cool. have a lecture every month talking about it, and then they have. Um, they're doing activities. They're you know people are coming in. They're having lunches. And, I mean they've got it all figured out. They're going to have people spinning hopefully the whole day and and games for kids and drawings and art projects. They're just really going into it. It's really exciting for them. Of course we're not there, but I, I was going to go. But... Then it, then we might want to say it's New York, not Maine. It mm -hmm. is New York. That's what I wrote down. Yeah, I think that's what we okay, said. Okay, you wrote down New York? Okay, good. Yeah, I don't think it's Maine. Because okay. I don't know of anybody good. that's all excited in Maine. Okay. <laughs> I mean, it's New York is freaking out. And the way Buffalo is kind of really uh, west of um, New York, it's like in the northern, mm -hmm. the western part of it, so. That's yeah, that's true. Buffalo is far west of Maine. And, and yeah, York, Maine's so. way over there, way over there. And Buffalo is very close to Toronto, so you're right up into Ontario there. So three three Canadian states, you think? Providence? Well, I'm just, yeah. I'm yeah, so you so forget, forget Nova Scotia. Ontario and Quebec for sure. Well, what about Nova Scotia? Same area. Yeah, that one is Nova close Scotia. to Maine. Yeah, but I think, knows, yeah, I think Nova Scotia might be too far to the right. All those maritime provinces are so far. I mean, they're farther it's east. Far east. Maine. Yes, that's true. It's east. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's true. So I would. I think. I think um, Susan's guess of three is probably good. It says plus or minus one. Does it say yeah. three seems good because that could be four. It could be. I two. think three. Three is good. I think it's probably just two, but. We get us three and we're coming. And then, then we still one. win. If the answer is two, we win. Yeah. We got this, you guys. Oh, yeah. We got at least two, maybe three. <laughs> <laughs> Lee, we've been waiting for you guys to get here. It was just uh, Cindy, Jamie, and I and Deborah, and we've been like, hurry up, Lee. And then, and then we get <laughs> the lowest score. We're like, we get Robin. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then the next well, round we still got the worst score again and they hadn't given us Robin yet I'm like good we still get Robin <laughs> you guys missed some good rounds they were fun we did um, uh, apocalyptic films Carl did and then Gail Ooh. did uh, tombstones for famous people yeah I caught the very oh, I we had, they the took the, like the break and actually, people were still talking about the tombstones. Yeah. Yeah. yeah um, um, Deborah just figured out that she's looked in her dresser because we got a four bedroom house and in her dresser there's a there's a uh, thing of clothes. Some of these jeans and swim trunks are here. Left the clothes behind. Yeah. I said, do they fit you? <laughs> well, the owner should have sent them back to the last. 
person who rented out the Airbnb. They, they, they didn't open it up, I guess, or it could have been the last person who stayed here or something like that. I don't know. Yeah, but the owner's supposed to go through, isn't he? I mean, like they do the hotel room, they go through. Yeah, they go through, but I guess they missed it. It's a big place. I'm just telling you, it's a four bedroom, three three full baths, hot tub. Oh. Uh, the yeah, but they're supposed to clean. Well, it's not dirty. It's just, it's just a, one of the. There's lots of dressers here, so one of the dressers had sheets, they had clothes in it. Somebody just didn't open it. Yeah, they did a very good job. Deborah gets a pair of jeans yeah, and some swim trunks. I think they're teenage boys, though. Oh, I don't ever unpack. I almost unless I'm staying someplace a week, I'm not going to unpack. I just take a and put them up on my bed. We're giving Jane and Adrian the best rooms. They got king size beds, really nice. Oh, wow. Yeah, this is a nice place. It just doesn't feel like a real home, you know. It's not personal, even though they've got personal items on things. And there's a gas station outside of our back door with full lights on it. It's kind of weird. What do you think, Deborah? I'm talking about the gas station back there. Well, you can put trees right there. Get here from the airport. Is it? And he's got his hand up too. Wow. Okay, that was tough, Leonard. Uh, even for people who worked on spacecraft, because I never worked on anything that went to the moon, so I didn't pay much attention to the lunar orbit. So wait a second here. I want to. I have a question to ask. It's very important. Rob is being me. He's going from room to room. I want to know how he's doing. It depends on the category. <laughs> well, how have you been doing? This one he helped us out in round one. Yeah, this one I wasn't as helpful as I, I had hoped, or Leonard thought I'd be. He was a lot of fun during my round. He was yeah. chortling yeah. away. Yeah, yes. he, even if he couldn't, room. even if he couldn't read any of the numbers. Yeah, because <laughs> none of the other rooms are being recorded. Just room five. All right, Leonard, give us the bad news. Hey. Okay. We so. Yeah, for number one, the current maximum length of a total solar eclipse is seven minutes. Ooh. Yes. Ooh. Wait, wait, what was the plus wow. and minus? What was the plus and minus? No. Rounded to the nearest minute. Oh. An eclipse season Maybe. is a time period over which lunar and solar eclipses can occur. What is the minimum number of eclipses in an eclipse season? And the answer oh. is two. Okay. Yeah. 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 Don't now, look strikes that. again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got it. And the yeah. maximum number of eclipses in an eclipse season is three. Man. Oh. Jamie's no. dog. That was right. I said, focus. Look at the How dog. Often? Look at Jamie's dog. Hello, doggy. Just stop for a minute. And his dog Hello, did as doggy. well as we did. How often do eclipse ears. seasons occur? Rounded to the nearest month? Six. Yes. What was the plus and minus on that? Rounded to the nearest month. Plus or minus four tenths of a month. Ah. <laughs> and that's question four? That was four. Oh, question oh, four. five. When what, is what, the what, next six eclipse? What? Six what? I, I, I don't six months. 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 Oh. To the nearest uh, month. Six. Oh, I see. Okay. When is the next eclipse? So there are a minimum of two eclipses every eclipse season. Eclipse seasons last about a month. There is one April 8th. So there needs to be one either two weeks before or two weeks after. There's a lunar eclipse coming up this weekend. <laughs> Saturday, uh, Sunday night to Monday yeah. morning. There will be a really piss poor, lousy eclipse called a penumbral lunar eclipse. And you won't notice it even if you know what to look for. Mm. Bummer. <laughs> the range of so days are here. It's March twenty fourth. Ah, okay. On the East Coast, Thank it's you. March twenty fifth because it happens right around midnight um, here in California. So the twenty second to the twenty sixth would be good. Yeah. Okay. 
So six, what is the correct term for what is sometimes called a blood moon? That is a total lunar oh, total. Ah, darn. Eclipse. Yay! Oh, what if we just said lunar eclipse? Then that would be less than a point. Oh, all right. <laughs> And if we spell total partial, that wouldn't yeah. count either. We total wrote total. T -A -R -T -I -L. We wrote total. Just bad spelling. Yeah, that's a typo. When is the next total solar eclipse visible in the contiguous 48 states after the one in a couple of weeks? 2044. Yay, fate. Oh, we talked ourselves out of it. We might be alive. Might be alive. It happens um, at sunset. <laughs> In Montana. Are we going to still be being playing trivia? And oh, there's oh, one geez. the next year in 2045 <laughs> that goes right across the whole country. Oh, wow. What game will we be on? <laughs> Big number. <laughs> what world famous natural wonder is in the path of totality for the April eclipse? I know some people got this. Niagara Falls. Niagara Falls. Slowly, I crap by step. Uh, shit, that ruined our damage. score. How many U.S. states are in the path of totality? Plus the answer five. is 15. Oh. oh, Texas, Oklahoma, Arkansas, Missouri, Tennessee, Illinois, Kentucky, Indiana, cool. Ohio, Michigan, Pennsylvania, New York, Vermont, New Hampshire, and Maine. Oh, Why not Massachusetts? Five, right? You skipped over Mass. Because it's not in the path of totality. Yeah, you guys. Be New Hampshire and Vermont and not Massachusetts. By being okay. north. Goes at an angle. By being north. <laughs> it's sneaky. It's going east-west, basically east-west, and it goes Look, north of Massachusetts. I recognize that laugh. Hey, Adrian! Hey, I thought we were going to see it here. Hi. You will see a partial, which is the equivalent to not seeing it at all. <laughs> <laughs> how, many, here. how many Canadian provinces are in the path of the eclipse? Six. Wow. Oh, 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 we got okay. it. Wow, six. Everybody, yeah. look, Jane's here. Ontario. Hi, Jane. Hi. Hi, Jane. Ontario, Quebec, and all four of the Maritime Provinces. Oh, wow. Zwick, Prince oh, wow. Edward Island, Maritime Nova Province. Scotia, and New Brunswick. Cool. I told you guys, you got it. <laughs> yes. I just told you that wrong. had it right, huh? Blitzen nailed it. Told you. Well, not not Newfoundland, surely. In fact, we it is Newfoundland, three. Newfoundland, but not no four. The Labrador part of Newfoundland. Four. It's it's the island part of Newfoundland. Interesting. And what U.S. state experiences totality last? It goes from the west to the east. So obviously, that makes it. Maine. Maine. There you go. Yay. Oh. Maine. Oh. I'm sorry, team. I'm sorry. Team. No, that's fine. <laughs> no problem. I thought it went the easy other go, way. Easy go, easy go. So it goes through New York? Yep. Okay. Um, the that's northern part of, of New York State. Niagara. Gets yeah, the, it's going around clips. around Massachusetts. It doesn't like Massachusetts. Oh, yeah, just it doesn't. Stand up. Puppy to me for just a minute. I know that puppy is so I cute. That's a, puppy. A, that's a cutie. I'm so cute. That is I a cute little down. puppy. Just for a <laughs> bit. That's a cute puppy. Okie dokie. Oh boy, that was tough. That we was did, definitely not going to be anything like. Yeah, I'm not, not going to get all tens. One. Not going to be like front. Karen's. All right, starting with the team still slightly in last place. Trump hopes to raise his half billion using his favorite clothing, Russian ties. Or. Ooh. 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 Wow. Hey, hey, let's see how they're, everybody they're else did. Don't last be voted place anymore. and groaning. All right, kidney used in first successful transplant from pig Trump. We're trying three. to make them look good. We got three. three. Ah. Ah. Wow. <laughs> Will the expert in bankruptcy make um, a bankruptcy? I think game? you put oh yeah, I'm sorry. I thought you put it in the wrong place. I'm sorry. Well, we, we had to do even worse, so we got a two. Ooh. Oh. Yeah. Ooh, I like well, this we, trend. We, I like had, this trend. Had, Keep it had going. we used the word total, we would have gotten a third oh. point. We Is just somebody going to, clips and somebody gonna get a one here, two, three, four? All right, let's go with keep your filthy hands off of Trump Tower. 
We got eight. <gasps> oh, oh, so we would have gotten 10 what? if we had added one more province and had not switched our answer from in, on number two. So. Yeah, we did that the yeah. last minute. Uh, oh, my God. We all right. two. Eight. Eight two. Yep. It's a tie. Holy moly. Holy the moly. Category. Wow. The category. Not fair. They cheated. Oh. That's a good, God, that's, that's a, that's really, a huge I want to recount. Recount. That's a huge spread. <laughs> huge spread. Two to eight. We have two good battles going. One for first and one for last. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Means. So final round. Oh, really see. does the bonus there mean so is much? Lee. There <laughs> yeah. Is Lee. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Okay, okay Lisa. Lisa. Hoping for a bonus, I know something about because boy, hey, that... I want I want Jane and I want Adrian to be able to, to play. So make it goodly. Well, remember uh, <laughs> that Beatles song back in the USSR? Yes, back in the UK. Okay. After the breakup of the USSR, fifteen sovereign states were created. <gasps> Name ten of them. Okay. Okay. I so, like this question. See how, see how good your knowledge of geography. Do, do we have to write? Do, do we have are. to write the names in, in the uh, language of the country? Yeah. <laughs> oh, now, just just Cyrillic. Spelling counts. Spelling counts. It does not count. Uh -oh. <laughs> wow. Okay. okay. Go to your rooms. Oh. Only if you send. Good category. Okay, take notes. I I've been peeing oh, in all the bathrooms that are not the one I'm going to be using. Just so I just to say. Okay. <laughs> hey, we got this, Rob. Okay, this one's easy. Right. Oh, is it easy for yeah. Jamie? Because she he's created destruction everywhere. Ready? This one, take okay, notes. wait, wait. You got to spell them though, Jamie. They're pretty easy. Estonia. Somebody want to share a screen? Somebody want to share a screen? Or I... No, we're not Estonia, sharing. Latvia, Lithuania. First wait, wait, wait. wait. First yeah, Estonia, Latvia, Lithuania. You best, the East, best then, then, then in the Central Asia is Kazakhstan. Kazakhstan Uzbekistan. is part of the USSR? Yes. yes. Kazakhstan, yeah. Uzbekistan. Yeah. Uzbekistan. Turkmenistan. Wait, wait, wait. Turk. Turkmenistan. Um, let's see. Belarus. Belarus. Georgia. U Ukraine. Georgia. Ukraine. Ukraine. UK. Georgia. Okay. Um, what about Germany? Because it was East Germany reverted back to Germany. We need one. Uh, more. No, that wasn't. That was. That was part of the their block. Yeah, that didn't. That didn't become an independent state. We need and it wasn't one more. Oh, okay. Uh, let's see. What was it? The other Central Asian country, um, Kazakhstan, Uzbekistan. How about the Czech Republic? Or did, no, did you say? Did you Georgia. say Georgia? Georgia. Georgia. Yes, Georgia. Georgia. Said Georgia. I got Georgia. Let's see. It's, uh, I don't think I should. Did I should you put your computer. Yeah, how many, how many do we have? computer in the bathroom? How many do we have so far? Nine. Uh, I'm nine. Um, let's see, Turkmenistan, Kazakhstan, Uzbekistan, um, Tajikistan. How do you spell Tajikistan. that? Tajikistan. T J. Oh God, I can't spell Tajikistan. T A J I K I S D A N. Yeah, I don't, Tajikistan. I don't remember, have I heard of that one? Tajikistan. Uh -huh. Tajikistan. That's it. Ten. Yay. Okay. How, how many did five? he say there were? By the way, were, did 15. he say there were more than ten? Wow. There was fifteen. Yeah. So uh, Putin's, got, Putin's got a long way to go after he gets you. Crying. And uh, uh, Jamie's got got to go and wreak havoc and destruction every place he yeah. goes to. Right. Well, it's, it's the one area, Central Asia. I always want to go um, where the Silk Road from China to India, and yeah. to the east. So it goes through Central Asia. So we had always had plans to go to Uzbekistan, the Samarkand mm. and Tashkent, but yeah. because of COVID, yeah. we never made it. 
So it's the one area of the world in Central Asia we haven't been to. Are yet. they taking the rooms we were thinking they would take? Them? So who officially? I have. Got them um, well, I didn't know which one would take. I have one room. Facebook friend. I'm going to meet you, Susan. Who officially has these written down? Susan. Jamie does. Oh, I don't. Oh, I didn't. I didn't write no, them. I didn't. Jamie's Susan. not right. I didn't see Jamie. Jamie can't. Okay, move then, then I'll yeah. write them down if somebody if like, we recite. Them I think around. I have them down. I have wrote them down. Susan. You wrote them down. Okay. Right, but they're down. Yeah. Okay. You want me to read them back? Yeah. Yes. Okay. okay. Estonia. Latvia. Uh, Latvia. Okay. Lit Latvia. Lit 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 Lithuania. Lithu uh, Lithuania. Lithuania. Kazakhstan. Turkmen Turkmenistan. No, no. I'm saying them in the order I got them written down. Kazakhstan. Kazakhstan. Uzbekistan. Uzbekistan. Uh, Turk Turkestan. Tur Turkmenistan. 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 Belarus. Ukraine. Belarus. Georgia. And Tajikistan. Tajikistan. Yeah. So that's okay. 10, that's, yeah, that's, right? that's 10. We got, we got 10. Yeah. I, I actually know somebody from Kazakhstan. I worked with her at, uh, in Lockheed. She came over at 19 years old. Uh, she left, uh, you know, and she had been, um, a national citizen of the USSR, so that was quite interesting. That's where the um, Balakor, that's where the um, space center is, is in yep. Kazakhstan. Yep. Does she does she like the Borat movie? Does she appreciate? That? <laughs> no. yeah. We never talked about that. <laughs> That'd be my first question. Like like my daughter, you know, her roommate in college was from um, Kenya, but was she's a Ugandan citizen. And she said one day, because it was at this Columbia University in New York City, she says, should should we go see um, the Book of Mormon? Is it good? And my daughter, who has seen it several times, said, oh, yeah, it's fantastic. It's hilarious. So she sent her Ugandan roommate and all her family members to go see the Book of Mormon. And they came back and they were like, we were okay. not really amused. <laughs> really? <laughs> Is that it where is... it takes place? No. Well, have you not seen the Book of Mormon? Since no, I, I went with you. I, I, with you. Yeah, I, went, I think I went with you. Yeah, you know, oh, they go to me. Uganda. Oh, Uganda. I forgot. And it's been yes, so long. they went to Uganda. That's that's where the they were that's where the Uganda. action takes place. In so were they making were they making fun of Ugandans? Yes. Yes, they were making fun of <laughs> yeah. Ugandans as being um primitive, having and AIDS and being subject to you know, uh, guys with uh, AK-47s and a lot of Show uh, the uh, ammunition. Head. Sorry. We brought you know, like Che Guevara slung. Are you done? Yes. I got yeah, we're Diet done. Dr. Pepper. We're um, diet uh, Root Beer. We, we, we have our list. Unfortunately, uh, I don't think this is going to make us win the game. Because <laughs> we're <laughs> 10 points. Behind. Everyone else. I didn't know yeah. what else but, but maybe the team will not finish in last place because there's only one point behind two other teams. We did pretty good. Yeah. For for but anyway, Borat makes very much fun of um, Uzbekistan <laughs> and Kazakhstan. Yeah, my my, uh, my friend was actually one of the most religious people I know, which is weird because she grew up in the not religious Soviet Union, but came here mm -hmm. and became an Eastern Orthodox uh, Bible literalist. Mm -hmm. Oh, really? Huh? And she's a scientist. Out of that, huh? <laughs> and she's a scientist. Is she no, a scientist? She, she has a well. She has a mathematics um, master's degree, I believe. Uh, I think they say my mathematicians. Are probably the most religious um, yeah. of, of the, the sciences. Not really scientists, right. but of that, they're the of least. That they have the least exposure to the information that would make them irreligious, which is like yeah, evolution. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and and speaking of the moon, that was the last argument I ever had with her before we got too hostile to not have any more arguments about the subject. Because <laughs> she said, "Rob, my pastor said the moon is drifting away at this speed, and that means it could have not been." Uh, the 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 the, uh, the earth can't be more than a few thousand years old because at that rate it would da, 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 da. so she, again she's a mathematician I sat down with an Excel spreadsheet I went and I got all the actual data how fast is it drifting away how far away is it how long and I said guess what it comes to billions of years not ten thousand 
<laughs> and, and you know what her answer to that was? Bizarre. God can do anything he wants, Rob. But that's not what we were arguing. You were telling me you had mathematical proof, and it's wrong. God can do anything he wants, but he doesn't. Oh, <laughs> oh very annoying. He doesn't do the things. Yeah. He he only does or, things. Or maybe he, he, he does what he wants, which is not not which is pretty which much is nothing. nothing. Yeah. Well, he only only does does things we want him to do, like uh, he'll bomb the. World Trade Center because you know gives you get married and stuff like that. It'll help my team. No, I, I think that was Katrina. Series. Katrina hitting New Orleans because of that. Yeah. Okay, that went pretty quickly. For some reason, everyone is muted. I don't know why. Everybody's on mute. Um, I took my. That was fun. They're all fake. Yeah. Everything's fake. Remember, plastic flowers. Hello, Hello everyone. Funny. This is you know, when your high school teacher told you to memorize the names of these 15 Soviet socialist republics, <laughs> it'll, it'll, someday it'll pay off for you when you take a trivia round. <laughs> when, you, when you're playing trivia, someday well, you go on it. you got to send okay. him a link well, to the show. Well, you know, I have, I have quite a few friends that served in Peace Corps in the former Soviet bloc, and I, I'm going to kick myself. I really feel like I should know more than what I came up I with. I can't spell them, but we got uh, all to spell them. I didn't even try to spell. But yeah, we didn't, we didn't hear. Does spelling no. count? There's no. in the uh, tr Trust me, spelling spelling kinds. doesn't count. Cause I, uh, that would not be fair. No. Okay. Well, okay. spelling well, only counts if you wrote so, it in Cyrillic. <laughs> aren't we going to do the answers yeah, first? Give, give, us, give, us, give us the answers. Give us the the whole thing. He was doing the score before we did the... What's the answer? Uh, it's yeah. your discretion how you want to reveal the answers. Yeah, how are you doing? Okay, well, we'll do... I, I'm showing the score, but... I have a, one of the, my there, degrees is geography, hmm. and I d didn't know... I couldn't come up with 10. What? Oh. Alphabetically <laughs> by... We had Jamie on our team, so we had him, no problem. Do them in order of the tallest yeah. lighthouses. Oh, we didn't have our I'm yeah. kicking myself already. Of course, in order Armenia. by the tallest lighthouses. I, I was amazed we had we had eight on there already, and nobody <laughs> said <laughs> Ukraine. As, as, as a by John. As a, oh, we didn't have that one. Oh, so, for John. Okay, okay. Ukraine was our first one. Belarus. Belarus, Belarus. Belarus. Belarus which hopefully uh, been in the news a lot. Mm -hmm. I even know where that is. North of Ukraine. No, north, awesome. north of North of Ukraine. North, that's the one whose president is the crazy Putin supporter. Estonia. Yep. Yeah. Estonia. Oh, we didn't have that. Yes, we oh, did. Don't worry now. We had yeah. Estonia. No, Estonia that was, was the first thing, Susan. That was the first that one. Was oh, I just spelled it wrong. <laughs> I spelled it wrong. Georgia. North of Florida. Yeah, we got Georgia. North of Georgia. Georgia. Yeah, I had Georgia, Georgia on, my on my mind when we were doing this. Yes. And if anybody knows how to pronounce this, these next two, uh, have fun. I know somebody from there. I worked with him. Oh, no, really? I worked with, I worked with is his, his name Borat? Borat. <laughs> okay, well, that was the easy one. This is the one that I have no idea. Kyrgyzstan. Yeah, Jamie knew that. We've never heard of that yeah. one. Uh -huh. Wait, did we get that, you guys? I don't know how. Yes, yeah. yeah, we did, Susan. Okay, I yeah. just well, Latvia. Latvia. You got that one too, Susan. He was my favorite okay, character. Latvia, on I have that. Yeah. yeah <laughs> good... and Lithuania? Yeah. Oh, yes, we got we that. Moldova? Oh. Uh, we could have did enough. That was Jerry's girlfriend on Seinfeld one episode. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully, yeah. what does nobody, that rhyme with, Karen? Hopefully, Bo nobody Bo forgot Bo forgot this one. Russia. Russia. Yeah. So oh, how did we not write Russia? <laughs> oh, we got that one. Thank goodness. Tajikistan. <laughs> okay, we got that. We got that one. I just kept going. All those stands, stands, stands. Turkmenistan. Oops, come on. There we go. Turkmenistan. We got that. So we already crossed it out. Ukraine. No. Where's Where's Floristan? 
And everyone Ukraine. should have gotten that one. Ukraine, yeah. And last but not least. Uzbekistan. Uzbekistan. Yeah. At that. Yeah. You know, that's the first one I came up with. Just, just Good job, T. Yeah. Yep, Okie doke. So we are in Woo. a uh, two way race here one for first place and <laughs> three for last place. <laughs> <laughs> Starting hey, with, we're only one point behind you guys. Starting with the <laughs> Trump hopes to raise one half billion using his favorite clothing, Russian ties. Ten. Ooh. Wow. Well done. No, co no competition over here. I have no comp competitive bones in my body. Kidney <laughs> used in for a successful transplant from pig Trump. Ten. Whoa. Hey, hey, hey. Uh. Ron I bet you didn't mean we're on it. Uh, will the expert in bankruptcy make America bankrupt again? Nine. Ah. Ah. Charging into third. Ah. Ah. Last place. Ah. Anyway, tie for last place. All right. The win is between uh, team one and three. They Keep could have been zero and zero. Off Trump Tower. Ten. Oh, man. And four, did four, 15. the last Team, get 10. Will you take this property as collateral for a loan so I can appeal a decision that I lied about the value of my property to secure a loan for? It's a tie. Yep. Ooh, oh, you guys, that's yeah. not fair. Wow. Yay. Tie for first, tie for last, first and run back dab in the 10, middle. 10, 10, 8, 10. 10, 10, 10, 8, 10. Not we only, it, we not so only tied, we but tied, the scores were identical. Them. Look, look at the app. Look at the average score the the top, compared to uh, there from last week. <laughs> oh, geez, last week. <laughs> tie for first, tie for last, and one one team right in the middle. It's symmetric. Mm -hmm. Okay, good game, people. Okay, good game. Are those, are thank those, you, thank are you everybody. Top? Wrote categories and where are those? Hi, everybody. We're hosting oh, night facilitating. Thank you, Rob. Thank you, Rob. And I'm gonna take I have to go early because I've got visitors at my house that I don't know. Why aren't they here saying goodbye? Hello, hey you guys. Yeah, come take goodbye. Adrian, come over and say goodbye. We're closing off, and everybody says they want you to come over and say goodbye. Yeah, I want to say something to Adrian while she's there, and she'll understand. Bye, Deborah. Bye, Adrian. Bye. You guys have fun. Adrian. Adrian. Hey, hey, hey. Goodbye.